Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wreckfest. Yes, it is that. Uh, it is that time where we are going to crash some cars. There's going to be chaos and probably some good racing in between all of that. Some buses are going to get into trouble. You know, you know the usual Wreckfest drill. And Eve has stolen the dog bed from the dog. Apollo, she has bested you. She has outsmarted you. Just accept the fact that the cat has ruled. The cat rules and has decreed the bed is hers. You are allowed to put your head on it slightly, but you're not allowed to use it properly. Uh, <laughs> oh, it is uh, the ongoing the ongoing battle of who will get. I'm going to buy a second dog bed just for the cat. Yeah. Um, welcome all. Sadly, there is no snow in Wreckfest. I think there's snow in single player, but there's no snow for multiplayer stuff, which is a little bit of a little bit of a shame. A little bit of a shame. We won't be having any any snow shenanigans uh, for that one. We're starting off with some B class racing. I'm going to, funnily enough, use my Hammerhead RS because it is a um, blooming fast car. Uh, yes, Eve, Eve is indeed a bit of a chunky cat. Apollo is a very healthy. Well, is a very fit, healthy dog, and Eve is a bit of a chonk. Um, <laughs> I try, I've try. i tried really hard to get her to lose weight, and nothing's working yet. I think I have one more idea. Might work for her, um, but I'm going to have to try it at some point. And, yeah. Because, yeah. Bloody cats, honestly. Um, uh, Drake, thank you for the donation. Uh, by the way, this came in before the stream. Uh, so, saying uh, Rob uh, was sneaky, being less than an adult, when donating his money with no one uh, to consult. Uh, 69 may seem good, but another is misunderstood, uh, and that's the group for 1P. The best looking cult had <laughs> to do this just to wind him up. I don't know if uh, Rob is in chat, but indeed, the cult of 69 has been defeated for the moment. For the moment. Uh, more cowbell, thank you very much for the donation. Saying good morning from the Isle of Hughes. Uh, last day of fencing today, then it's uh, build the new race car time. Ah, a very exciting time indeed. Um, best, oh, good luck with the fencing, good luck with the race car building as well. Um, yeah, I suspect the, uh, the race car building will be uh, a bit more complicated. Uh, but there we go. So we're on the rally layout of one of the tracks that I've forgotten Ooh, the name of, because I don't really know. Whee! Well, I got kicked sideways, and... I mean, yeah, we were in the middle of that pack. I got a little snap of oversteer, and, well... Not really much I could do in that one. Unless they, me and Stevie have both gone for a pirouette early on. The only good news is, oh, I have not driven on Wreckfest for a while. Breaks. I forgot how terrible the braking was on this game. <laughs> oh dear. I have been, yeah, not playing Wreckfest. It takes a while to get back used to the brakes being made of cheese, pretty much. Uh, they are kind of useless, and then, well, they're kind of useless, and then they melt. It would probably be the best way to. <laughs> they're terrible. My fuel cap just opened when I went under brake. <laughs> I've never seen a car do that. <laughs> that I, it's a new feature. It's a new, you've got to pull up the petrol station and then slam on your brakes really hard if you want the fuel cap to open. Um, <laughs> I've played a lot of this game, admittedly not lately, but I've never noticed that before. Maybe it's happened before on the Hammerhead, but I've been too busy in like close races and stuff to notice it. But yeah, we have managed to break our car in such a way whereby the fuel cap will flap around. Oh. Under very heavy braking, that's a bit too much understeer for uh, for me. Uh, through there, Nine Tails. Funnily enough, Nine Tails is leading the way in all of this. Uh, we've got a good run, but I got a lot of air time, and now I'm going to try to get on the brakes. Oh, for the final quarter. Sorry, Stevie, it was not intention. Was not going for intended to uh, intending. I can't speak at the moment. Was not intending to go for a dive there. I got a lot more airtime than the cars ahead of me, and uh, yeah, that meant I couldn't go on the brakes as early as them. Maybe I should have a little lift before that jump or something. That would not be a terrible idea. Uh, Bumpy is up ahead in the bright pink machine. It's just got past Kevlar. We will have a look. Maybe, oh god, I'm not driving well today at all. Christ. Uh, this, is, this is apparently super, super rusty on Wreckfest. 
I mean, it's not been, it has been a little while, but it's not that long. I should be a little bit better than this. Christ. Okay, we are clear of Stevie, at least. We will go on the brakes just a little bit before the jump. My idea is try and chuck the car in through the final corner and hopefully make some speed somewhere. It'll be past the Nexus uh, through... I don't know whether you count that as the first corner. Let's, well, I can't remember whether that was... No, it'd be the final corner, actually, because the start line's a little further down. We got past the Nexus anyway. We've got Amy with the... I don't remember what it's called. The skyline-looking thing. Oh, there is a slower sunrise in the middle of this. Can we duck underneath for a run on the exit? We will get two cars as Amy slides wide. I'll get some understeer through there. Oh, oh dear. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'll add the old... I'll add the already, um, oh no, bumpy sound effect on that one. And we both did the same thing. So I was actually better through the sort of corner before that, which then made way more speed being carried to a tricky corner that I just hadn't done before, and both me and Bumpy ended up out wide. Oh, Amy has gone a bit wide into turn one there. We have been escorted wide as uh, there is some trading of paint going on. The sunrise is getting away, but this is the battle for the top 10 now, which I mean, considering the absolutely god-awful start, a top 10's not the worst thing in the world um, for us to be dealing with. Uh, Bumpy's going to have a look to the inside there. Can't quite get far enough alongside to make a pass stick. Uh, the car is still, is it the Stellar, I think, uh, still having a look around for a uh, way past. Uh-oh! No! Oh! Well, we've nicked the wing off Amy's car. <laughs> I can't suddenly brake when I'm in the air. Uh, that's, yeah, I wasn't expecting them to be braking before the jump, necessarily. And, yeah, we were committed. <laughs> we need air brakes, that's what we need. I mean, we have got a very big wing, um... We have got a very big wing on the back of this car, which I guess would sort of work as a gigantic air brake. But uh, we need a movable one. We need one like the uh, GTA Spano or whatever it was. Um, I think that was there. We always called it the Spano, but I, I think it was actually called a Spano. Uh, whoop! It was contact between those two down there. Um, yeah, I think that was uh, that was an actual name that had the massive air brake. Either way, we're going to get to ninth, but it isn't going to be enough. Uh, time to get any higher up for us, unfortunately. It's not a terrible... Wait, we will uh, bump that into the wall. Um, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a ninth place for us. We had, had a bit of pace. I'm, um, we could do better. But we could do have done better. I think it was a, a pretty mediocre start. 9 times 6 victory, Lombo is second, Gliska is third. Um, I mean, yeah, at lap time, we are into the 49s, it wasn't too shabby. We could, you know, we had, we, we did have, have some pace in there. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Yeah, that's a terrible start for us. We can, it can only improve, really. Um, can can only improve. We shall Norfolk Ring. Can't remember what one that is. You know what? We're gonna go for the patented good old close eyes. Or in my case, look at chat. Actually, you know what? We shall read a donation. Um, at FIA stewards. Thank you very much for the donation. Saying here is your one second penalty for getting uh, for forgetting you played two weeks ago. I remembered, but. I've forgotten how to play Wreckfest since then. Uh, also, no one is not a while ago. Uh, only one second because you haven't uh, done it in the new year. Uh, it's true, it was a year ago I last played this game. Uh, we're not bribed by Amy, Lado, Ewan, nor controlled by Eve. Also, I give Eve some pets. I can't reach Eve. She's currently fast asleep um, on the cap on the dog bed. The dog has given up trying to get the dog bed. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> The dog has the dog had its head on the pit on the on the massive bed has now given up and is now asleep in front of the Lego cabinet. Um, so there we go. The game hath decreed we're going to race the Tribend Speedway. This can only go really well. I shall take my one second penalty immediately. 
Actually, it depends on where I am on the grid. Because if we're at the front and I stop and don't go, this just cause a very big accident. Uh, <laughs> welcome all who are uh, who are just tuning in to uh, to the stream. Welcome to some madness. I don't know what I want for a car on this circuit. This is the wild circuit, so there are jumps and stuff. I'm going to try something. This might be something that I regret. It might work. I'm going to drive the trophy runner. Uh... <laughs> Uh <laughs> Chat tried to explain. Um, okay, best way to ex explain the, uh, a, a bincident. A bincident is hiding in a bin while being chased by people who want to kill you. There we go. That's the... Um, <laughs> is that the best way to sum it up? That's, it's the quickest way to sum up what a bincident is. Um, yeah, let's... Um, Let's go with that. Let's go with that. It is one of one of many Survive the Hunt highlights. Um, it's definitely up there amongst um, um, amongst all the Survive the Hunt moments. I can't, there's so many fun things have gone on. Um, I don't even know what my favourite Survive the Hunt bit would be. The incident's definitely up there. The Hummer Escape, or the Hummer Survival, is also another one that is uh, that, that is right up there as well. Um, uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. That is some Morse code. I don't know Morse code. Uh, I, can't, I can't read Morse code, unfortunately. Saying, see, boo that. I can't boo. I can't really boo Morse code. No, that is, uh, that is true. But I can't boo Morse code if I don't know what it is as well. Um, that makes it slightly difficult. Um, to <laughs> uh, in fact, actually, the Morse code is dot 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 dash dash dash, and it's just repeated four times. So I don't know what that is in Morse code. Um, but there we go. <laughs> Does Morse code get a boo by default? Should we just boo some Morse code? Just just to spite Andrew. <laughs> Let's do it. We shall boo some Morse code. Let's go for it. Um, Oh dear. Uh, Christian Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, bring me the chaos and destruction. Uh, and as always, thanks for streaming. Ah, oh, there shall be uh, plenty of chaos. There shall be plenty of destruction. Hopefully, there so shall be some good racing. Uh, apparently, that is uh, so, 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 so. There we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, who knew? We have learnt something new. So we're just going to boo Andrew um, for. Morse code. Uh, we were all ready. The game decided to be slow loading. Um, oh, yeah. Survive the hunt moment with me getting to the airport and taking off just before we got ran over. That was quite... Well, hit. That was quite funny. Right, we've, we have served our one second penalty. Um, honestly, probably going to be helpful here. Yep. Because <laughs> seeing that mess go on here. Ooh. Uh, my truck, funnily enough, doesn't handle very well. Hey, Ninetales. Uh, don't mind me. Uh, we are going to not fight our way onto the, uh, to the ramp. I thought the ramps went all the way across the road. Apparently they don't. That is not some... I just shoot... I, it was the assumption that they covered the road, to be honest. Uh, apparently they do not. Uh, we could maybe get down. Oh, although that one, that one there I don't really like avoiding, because you do really run the risk of going into the concrete. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Uh, we have gone wide with a bunch of other vehicles. Uh, if it was cheating, avoid the ramp. We will take the ramps. Um, if we can, of course. Yeah, I just presumed that they went all the way across the track, apparently. Uh, apparently that is not the case. Ninetales' car has got smacked somewhere along the line. <laughs> this is a funny shape. Uh, oh, God. we got to break a lot earlier through there, because I just have a mile of understeer. Oh, dearie me. Uh, we are going to go for a quick spin. Yeah, we got so much understeer. Unfortunately, the jumps... I thought the jumps were... I haven't driven this layout for a long, long time. I thought the jumps were going to be bigger. Hence why I went for the... You know, truck. But... The cars are dealing with them relatively well. And we just have a load of understeer. I mean, not the only one with a load of understeer. But, uh, yeah, we have a whole load of understeer going on through all of that. So, yeah. Oh, Bumpy's lost the wheel. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Bumpy's Mini is having a bad day. We're not having a good race either here. Um, it's I think I have a feeling I know how today's stream is going to go. And it's not apparently looking like a good one for me as of yet. Oh, that was another car missing a wheel. That's one of the Stellars out. Yeah, this was a terrible shout. This is absolutely garbage around here. Can't re I can't do much. I'm, I'm certainly by no means the best when it comes to Wreckfest. Once upon a time I was fairly quick, but it's been so long since I was played this game more than a few hours occasionally for streams. But uh, yeah, oh, I could not get my back of my car to go the way I wanted it to. I just don't have the steering for this. Uh, we have terrible lack of grip. So yeah, okay, don't drive the trophy truck unless it is for pure destruction. Pure destruction, then it's quite good. It's not bad at like the uh, Mark Van events we've done in video. That's where it's mostly got uses. Oop. Uh, although it does have a tendency to get rolled over. Quite top heavy vehicle, funnily enough. Oh, that's a terrible line through there. I just don't, I don't trust the grip in this in the slightest. Um, I don't trust that I can take any corner speed with it. Don't really feel like I can. We've been stuck at this kind of couple of second gap to the Nexus for a while. It's now going to be... Oh, the Nexus might have lost a wheel. There's been a big shunt up ahead. Oh, hello. Hello, laggy Corvette thing. I don't know what you are. I can't remember what it's called. Is it Venom on here? Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> that did not want to end up directly in front of us. Uh-oh. And that's another one that did not want to land directly in front of the trophy runner. Uh, I mean, we have cleared the path for Shadow quite well at the moment. Um, uh oh. Oh, Stevie's gone for a bounce. Uh, is Stevie, Stevie's the car was for position. Shadow's going to have a look to the inside. Uh, we will try and run this high line here. Uh, oh, we will get ourselves stopped, but uh, it's only just... We might end up in 7th, which honestly isn't the worst position in the world, although it's a lot of understeer through there again. Oh, it's a run to the line, and we will, I think, just hold on to 7th in the end. Ugh. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, that car was garbage around there. No, we didn't have a great start. Yeah, we had a garbage race, and it was uh, not a particularly uh, particularly enjoyable uh, enjoyable vehicle to drive. Yeah, we will kick the moron who decided just to make an obstacle of themselves, because um, you know you ruin other people's races who are trying to have you know a half decent time. So for that, you will be given the boot. Um, who got fastest lap? Nine tails by the looks of it with the Gorby. Well, we saw the Gorby with the. Uh, <laughs> the back end was sort of bent upwards, but uh, it was definitely pretty rapid. We got closer. I don't know what happened to Nines. But Nines was going to crash on the final lap as um, we, yeah, we had not seen Nine Tails for a long time after that. Um, but yeah, we did not have the best of times. It, it's, it can, again, can only improve. Uh, I mean, this will make there uh, be a space now in the lobby. Uh, this is an open lobby. You're welcome to join. I mean, it will often be quite full. However, um, yeah, you are you are always welcome to join as long as you don't drive like a complete plank. If you do drive like a complete plank, funnily enough, you will be removed from the session. Uh, shall we go? I mean, this is always... Let's always have a good bit of fun. Uh <laughs> At a Crash Canyon. B-Class at Crash Canyon. It's the age-old conundrum of do you go for power or do you go for strength? Oh, we have got Liam here. Uh, or do you go for, I should say, speed perhaps more than power? Do you go for handling cars or do you go for strong cars? That's basically all, your two options here. Do you go for cars fast over a lap or a car that's going to survive? And uh, most of the time, the car that uh, is, is quicker over a lap is the one that, that, that does better. Because you might lose a couple of uh, couple of, of weak, fast cars, but there's normally at least a few still surviving to the end. We're going to drive the Stella, because why not? I like it. It's a nice car. Should be half decent here. Oh, it could, 
I've had some very, very good close racing at Crash Canyon. And often it does go that way. Sometimes it goes the other way, and it's just complete anarchy. But you never know. You never know what uh, what you are going to oh, get, other than the game potentially crashing. <laughs> Breakfast. You're having a laggy, laggy, freezy, pausey, but there we go. Let's uh, let's go and get you ready. Uh, Alex Anderson, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, can we have a round of King of the Hill? Ah, we could potentially uh, have a go at that. It's not an actual game mode. It will depend on if everybody is going to behave themselves. That's the bigger conundrum here. Uh, because, yeah, it's not an actual game mode. I don't know if I've ever done it with 16 either. The arena is a bit small for 16, possibly. Uh, but, yeah, unfortunately, it is... Um, uh, it is not an actual game, which is kind of a shame. I think it would work as a legit game mode. It could be really fun. Uh, oh, well, this is a nice spot on the grid. I will take that. Thank you very much, game. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, do like the King of the Hill. It's a bit janktastic is probably the nicest way to describe it. Oh, we're going to go and hug a wall. Get off the wall. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. We just ran a little bit too high. All oh, the buggy has bounced off the inside wall, and chaos has befallen a whole load of people. Uh, right. Oh, come on, Stella. Make that, make that line work. That's what we are hoping for. It almost did. Couldn't quite. Couldn't quite. Oh, Longbow was close to uh, getting spun off the nose of uh, of my car. Oh, Volvo has gone where I wanted to go. Oh. Well, and Lombo has snuck their way past, and Lombo's got a flappy boot going on. Oh, yeah, no, it's kind of half closed and half not closed. Uh, right. Can we chase down the Nexus? I don't know. I feel like we have no speed at all to I mean, I know this Stella is a very good car uh, in this one, so... Definitely not going to be the uh, the car's fault if it can't chase down the Nexus. We know the Nexus is pretty solid as well. We know it's a strong uh, a strong car, about the only vehicle that uh, Longbow can drive with the lag uh, <laughs> going on with good old uh, Canadian internet connecting to England. Nine Tails, I mean, Nine Tails is just way way faster at the game than I am, and I don't have much of an answer uh, to their speed if they are behind. I mean, that clip on the rock face screwed us, although. There's been an accident somewhere gone on that has spread everyone out back there. That, that was terrible by me. And we were doing... Oh, come on. How have I forgotten how... I've completely and utterly forgotten how to drive on this game. And I don't quite know why or how... Oh, piss off, you crappy car. Uh, I'm at the point... Right, we are 20 minutes in and I'm at the point of almost giving up on Wreckfest. Um, hey, Amy. Could you get off my car? <laughs> well, we've been absolutely fine every time over those bumps. I mean, we're only on lap four, but sure. Uh, it had been going absolutely fine over those, and then it just decided, you know what you need? Let's just tip you into a wall for no reason. Uh, I love it. I love it when the car decides to do that. We will get past the... Rammer, I think. Stevie's on to two wheels. Ugh. It's, uh, yeah, again, not going well. Uh, we might be able to get past Stevie here. I mean, the hearse is not exactly quick. The hearse is the hoping for chaos, and uh, it's not really happening because his lap time's not going to be great. Oh, we are cutting that one really fine. Just try I'm trying to make any laptop I can at the moment, and probably cutting it close to the walls is a dangerous one to go for. Uh, but there is lap time to be found doing that. Now, oh, you stupid broken thing. Why are you doing that? don't know whether the damage has made it start doing that, or what is causing it, or how I can avoid it, because it is very irritating. Um, oh... Get back on your wheels. Ah, oh, did I lose a wheel? Why did I lose a wheel? It was literally the smallest bump. That is the smallest bump 
I could have bloody done, and that decided to take off the front wheel. Oh, good God. This has gone awfully. Um, yeah, well, that's fun. <laughs> uh, hey, Apollo. How are you doing? I hope you're having a better time than I currently am. I've got a broken car that doesn't really work, and yeah. The <laughs> Oh, Great. Apollo, you farted. Is that why you came over here? To tell me you farted? Thanks for that, buddy. Uh, silly dog. Yeah, the cat's still got your bed. Oh, now I've got something on my eye and I can't see. Um, Apollo, I can't give you attention all stream. Honest. Right. Oh, I mean, it's, like this thing is... Because it's lost a wheel on the front, it's... Um, yeah. Tipped down on that side. Oh, well, I forgot my eye. I can't actually. That's really irritating. Oh, God, don't be parked here. Uh, yeah, sorry, not a great piece of parking. Right there. Oh, I've got something on my eye, I think. Uh, that's making life worse. I mean, it, well, it was already pretty wrecked at that point. Um, <laughs> I mean, if it gets too angry, Alex Ladder, you don't want that because I'll just turn the stream off. Uh, it's as simple as that. It's uh, like that's. I, if I'm getting annoyed with the game, I will just not do it anymore. I, I, you know, this has been an absolutely shocking start. Um, I am. I can hope it's going to go better. Um, I mean, I saw a tumbling car on its roof, and that was uh, too good of an opportunity to pass up. It didn't do anything. Um, yeah, they like. If it's upside down in front of me and we're having that bad of a race, I'm going to hit it as fast as I can. That's about it. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, but yeah, it's technically for position as well, somehow. I think because they're in the rolly jeep or whatever. Um, not that I can put any of my power down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, it has fallen over again. Oh, it's technically died. <laughs> it was worth the go. <laughs> oh. How long have we got? Ten seconds. Come on, Rexmobile. Let's go and uh, trundle along. Oh, Stevie's AI is having problems. Stevie's AI is having a lot of problems. Um, and there we go. Right, I've got to try and get... Where is it? My eye out of it. Right, I'm going to hope that, that stops irritating the crap out. I don't think it's worked. Oh, this is... We are off to a wonderful, wonderful start. Um, FIA Stewards, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, for Amy being best mod, we hereby declare that everyone but Amy take a 100 health penalty to be served on the final lap of the next race. Uh, we are in no way bribed by Amy. Hmm. I wonder. Uh... <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I don't think anyone is going to listen to uh, to said thing. But uh, there we go. Unfortunately, that is uh, you know that is how it goes sometimes. Uh, right, let's go see class racing. This is a pretty short lap around here. If it is the circuit, I think it is, which it is. Um, yeah, we shall. Try. I'm going to drive my buggy, I think, in this one. We've had an absolutely terrible time, so I don't... Well, I don't actually know if it's still... It, it once upon a time, it was a silly... Well, I say silly OP. It was uh, very, very quick. I don't know whether it still is as quick, because things got tweaked uh, with some of these vehicles. So I don't know. Honestly, I've had a crappy enough time. I'm going to use the most OP thing I have. Because uh, it's probably going to lose a wheel and have a terrible time anyway. But we shall see. We shall. We shall see. Eve, you look very comfortable over there. It's amazing how much of a very big dog bed a smallish cat can take up. Uh, the answer is quite a lot. Um, Alright, we are going to start Ooh. this and we will. Um, we, we will. We will get going. Um, <laughs> Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying boo to your driving in that race, Alex. It wasn't well. I'd say it wasn't great. We would we were going well, and then 
something broke and then it just kept bouncing on any, all the landings. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's how it goes. It's how it goes sometimes um, with those. But, yeah, there, we will see what happens this time. Hopefully it'll go better. Uh, at the moment, it can't really go any worse than we have had currently. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's see what happens uh, once we can get everyone... Oh, God, this game is being laggy and uh, and and broken, pretty much. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, Christopher. When you have terrible, terrible races in a row, be my guest. Be my guest to have the most cheerful of times. If you enjoy having terrible races, good for you. I'm, I'm you know, I'm really great for you. Um, however, it turns out when you have absolutely shocking ones all in a row, it does get a little frustrating. Uh, and that is life, you know? <laughs> We're going to try and have a good race. We're going to hopefully have a good race in this one. Um, we will wait and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to take a shortcut, and I'm going to make sure the van gets out of the way. Oh, no, I'm going to get taken out by a bullet. That was I don't know to be fair. The bullet may well have got tipped because it was going left in a right-hander, which is never what you want uh, at that one. We have got a good run down here. I know the buggy, from what I remember, has surprising amounts of grip. Uh, it's kind of like... Oh, what was the car that tripodded? I've forgotten what it is. Um, what was the car that tripodded? Um, that was really difficult to drive. Was it the Killer Bee? Uh, maybe. The buggy's kind of like one of those, but slightly more stable uh, from what I remember. I haven't driven it for ages because it is generally very, very fast. Oh, well, there's a blade in the way. We shall use... Well, some acceleration. Don't quite have... The acceleration on the blade, that's to be expected. We should have the handling on it. Front wheel wants to lift up, but doesn't. We will have a dive to the inside, get the buggy stopped, park it on the apex. That's how, that's, there we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. Half decent pass. Nightels is leading and running away, as you can imagine. Um, I mean, from the back of the grid. Oh, we were, oh, Gliska's got the flappy. Are the flappy fuel caps new, or is it just like I've never noticed before? Because uh, now Gliska's got one on whatever that is. I'm not actually sure what it is, but um, yeah, we have flappy fuel caps. That one's just flapping its way normally. Oh, Gliska's fallen over. Someone else has fallen over as well. Curb has claimed some victims. <laughs> Gliska is down, and someone else is... Uh, or I didn't see who it was who went for a tumble further back. Um, and there we go. We will have a look to the inside of Stevie at turn one, and then hopefully get the car stopped down there. I was worried. Oh, I was going to struggle to pull the car up in time, but uh, we made that one work. Who is... I don't know what the black uh, car is and who's driving it. Oh, I've got to be wary of that curb. Uh, I've already seen two rolls on it. I do not want to make it a third, although I think I have maybe slightly better suspension. To deal, we don't seem to get ourselves pinged up onto two wheels as much as some of these other cars. So, yeah, maybe the buggy is a slight bit better uh, around here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, on the brakes we go. Then that's the spinny buggy in front of us. Uh, the only to say, downside, you can get these kind of twitching. Now, they're not as twitchy as some of the cars, but they can certainly get a little bit twitchy. Oh... Uh, as the one in front of us has found out. Well, it's a better run. We're up to fourth now. I don't know whether a podium's quite on the cards here. Uh, I think we've just got too much time to uh, make up, really, to Liam and Danger Man. And I don't, even if we are quicker than them, I don't think it's by very much. And I don't think we have the laps to do it in. But it's a solid drive so far. Uh, the Is it a gremlin or, uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Longbow. Okay, so it's Longbow that has marched up through the field with us in this one, who has just kind of been behind us the whole time. Uh, as we pass cars, Longbow passes them a lap or a couple of corners later, uh, and that has just stayed there pretty much the whole time. Danger Man remains in second. Nine Tails is pulling an even bigger lead. I'm trying everything I can to catch the cars ahead, which is leading to a little bit of overdriving. Hey... That's a bit of a... Oh, and Longbow's had an issue. Did not see what happened uh, to a Longbow, whether it was mistaken where where it was. We were having our own 
mistakes through there. Ninetales will claim a victory. We have a much better race. It was a little bit of a lonely race for the second half uh, once we got out of the traffic. I think we were about on pace with Liam and Danger Man. Um, in terms of lap time, I guess we will see. 35-3, 35-4, 35-3, yeah. <laughs> No, we're pretty much spot on, on pace. About a tenth of a second separated the three of us. In terms of lap time, Ninetales was about half a second down the road from us uh, with that Rebel Rat. Uh, there's more like it, yeah. We, we climbed our way up through the field. Um, oh, did Longbow get curbed? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Longbow, Longbow was unlucky because very much Longbow followed us through the pack um, on that one. That's more like it. That's more like it. The buggy is... A lovely, lovely vehicle to drive. It's very quick. It can get twitchy uh, when things go a little bit awry, but on the most part is pretty solid. Um, uh, call me Chris. Thank you very much for the uh, donation. I uh, saying one pound towards Apollo Bed Fund. Hey, Apollo, where have you gone? You're currently on the floor next to the sim rig. Yeah, someone's been very kind. Oh, he's not. He's not getting up. <laughs> but I'm sure he shall greatly appreciate it. Um, uh, Drake, thank you for the uh, donation, saying, while not a steward, uh, I do not like people making making fun of Alex, therefore I officially care. Anyone mocking Alex's driving skill and taking part in Wreckface can be shunted by Alex in a race. Hey, I can crash into everybody. Fantastic. In fact, you might do so uh, when you least expect it. Yes, the second... To be fair, the second I see a car upside down, I don't even care what position I'm in, whenever I see a car upside down, tumbling down the roads... I will generally punt it because it's kind of worth it. Well, I say that actually. If I'm in a battle for, you know, decent positions, I probably won't slow myself down. But it's so tempting in Wreckfest if a car is tumbling down the road. It's just, it's too tempting to go and give it a punt and see what happens. Uh, where should we go to next? I think we should go to... Uh, let us head... I forgot the... There we go. Now, this is the tough one. This is the tough one. What do you drive in C-Class here? Uh, Mr. Sumo, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, and another donation to the new Apollo dog bed fund from me and my dog Simon. Oh, Apollo snuck onto the bed. He snuck onto the bed with Eve there. Uh, <laughs> hold on, have I got... I don't know if this is connected. Uh, what do I... What... what is it this one? Is it this one? Hold on. Hold on. It is connected. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. But, there we go. I think you can just about see that Eve has... It's actually very difficult to aim. Eve has the dog bed. Apollo was on the floor. And he decided he'd had enough and just stole the corner. <laughs> Eve's actually okay with this as well, which is really impressive. Um, so there we go. I will keep you updated on the wonderful stories of um, what happens there. To be fair, Eve actually did go to curl up with Apollo and share the bed, uh, but Apollo doesn't really sleep sitting still, so she had enough of his shenanigans. So... <laughs> um, and now Apollo was... What were you trying to do, Apollo? You, Apollo cannot figure out what he wants to do at the moment. I'm going to stick with the buggy, I think, here. Um, <laughs> oh, like, it's quick. Um, it will probably... I think there's a very good possibility of it getting broken, but we shall see. Uh, all right. Apollo is currently trying to figure out the cat. Sorry, we, there is supposed to be some racing, but this is quite funny. Um, hold on. There we go. Apollo has now turned around, and he was sniffing and headbutting the... Well, not headbutting the cat, but very likely nose by... Eve is so comfy she doesn't care. Normally she'd have had enough of this and would be batting at the, at the dog. But apparently she is comfortable enough. Typical, as soon as I turn that on, he stops. Uh, and there's no way I could get that rigged up having a look over there. Um, but, uh, yeah. Well, that's a... It is a good sign. Um, 
on to the race. Anyway, yeah, the buggy is... So, the buggy is weak, alright? I know this buggy is not going to be... Not likely survive well. Oh yeah, the general rules of Hellride for us is you have to take the ramp unless you physically can't. Um, I, we should have said that at the start. I think most people know, who have, who have, who have done these races with us uh, in the past will know. You've got to take the ramp unless, you know, unless for whatever reason you physically can't. Um, we did get onto the ramp at the start. We lost a little bit of time. Oh god. Um, Ninetales is lagging. I thought I'd murdered Ninetales, um, but I actually hadn't. It was just some lag. Oh crap. Can't see what's about to happen, but it's probably not good, and it wasn't. <laughs> uh, all right, we will land on the wheels. We will carry on. Yeah, something big landed on the back of us and has turned us into a coupe, kind of. Yeah, it's not gone very well. Uh, <laughs> it's not gone very well at all for us, although it didn't surprisingly do all that much damage. I think this is the most impressive thing about it is that uh, despite the fact oh crap we are going to be hitting I think oncoming traffic from here um, maybe oh no not again oh I don't want it to be rolling down the road because that does do that I mean it's still at 72 health is surprising because uh, yeah the, the the squish and the roll is normally pretty damaging uh, and somehow we're still at, you know, three quarters health is quite good going from two rolls off of the hell ride jump. We are going to be in an awkward place for some cars to deal with, like Danger Man, for example, because we're going to be hitting the jump at weird times compared to the rest of the field. Now, the hope is that uh, we may survive because we've got nobody around us. Um, you know, that that is generally the hope. However, we will be uh, finding cars at awkward times, pretty much. Uh, like over here, we will avoid that one. We will overtake blue and green machine. Uh, right, come on, I don't know if this is... Maybe this isn't so fast around this track. I don't know whether it might, might lack a little bit of straight line speed. It's probably better in the corners uh, than it is elsewhere. Oh. Danger Man's car definitely quicker because we're catching it at different points on the ramp each time. Oh! No, I just want to be a fully over car today. Okay, the, the first roll I couldn't do anything about, we got landed on. The second roll, I slightly twisted it on the takeoff and we landed awkwardly. Oh crap, oh thank god for that, so guys mind. That landing, we landed perfectly and my car decided it wanted to, uh... Decided it wanted to just roll over again. Oh dear. Oh, we were allowed one good race. That was it. Has it locked a wheel? Is that front wheel locked up? Yeah, it is. We were allowed one half decent race. And Danger Man has fallen over out of the lead of the race. There. Um, I mean, yeah, we're just. We will maybe cause chaos for somebody. We we're hoping for a lot of DNFs. Um. That's about it. My front wheel is technically locked up. Oh, I was busy looking at the wheel, not really looking where I was going at that point. Uh, however, it's only like a visually locked. Mechanically speaking, it's not locked, which is something. Uh, you know, small comforts and all that. Are we going to bounce and fall over? Not this time around. Danger Man still leads. That's how bigger a lead Danger Man had in that, is uh, that it was... It was was able to have a big crash on what is technically the final corner and still survive it. Uh, we will. Uh, we'll get some speed off of there. Oh, you, where the hell is that going? That's at a funky angle. Some flying cars across the jump. We do jump over somebody. Well, <sighs> sure. <Ooh. laughs> oh, what the fuck? The uh, the front of my car is not where the front of my car should be. I think we're going to be the next DNF in this one, to be honest with you. Um, I mean, we do have a system. Okay, well, I was trying to make the ramp. We got pushed off of it. And there we go. Oh, there's a bumpy. <laughs> Today has gone very badly. 
We are out. Steve, he's out. Danger Man is going to go and take a victory, I should think, in this one. Looks like... Although, I say that, literally, as I flicked the camera away, Danger Man had an accident. I don't know who's second. Shadow is second somewhere. Uh, although, Shadow's also had an accident. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's that. Bumpy is still going, missing a wheel uh, in all of this. Aaron's car is a funky shape, as is most of them by now. Uh, Amy's car, surprisingly healthy, and that's in third, and chasing and um, battling with Gliska for second, so that's the closest race on track at the moment. Uh, dodging, oh yeah, Amy had to bail, they were trying to dodge the uh, incoming cars. Um, yeah, you can only do so much about that. Uh, Danger Man is on the final lap of the race in the final corners, and will head towards the line. Danger Man will take a victory in this one and it looks like Gliska will come home in second. Oh no, not quite. Gliska found a longbow. <laughs> Gliska is out. Gliska lost some wheels. Amy will cross the line in second at the end of that. It looks like Liam will come home in third. Only eight. Bumpy is still running. Yeah, I mean, if we hadn't, to be fair, if we hadn't met Bumpy uh, we would have, well, we might have still been going at this point. We weren't in a great condition anyway. Uh, actually, some more cars have DNF'd. So Bumpy is sixth and is the last car still running, uh, which is pretty uh, pretty good going. If Bumpy can stay on the track over the jump, I mean, it's not easy. These cars are horrible to drive when they lose a wheel. Uh, but it looks like Bumpy will at least finish the race in this one. Yeah, <laughs> we end up 13th with that. Um... So, there we go. Um, uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the donation. Saying for Eve's bed fund. Yeah, it's, more, it's not for Apollo's bed. It is for Eve's second bed. Um, she might let Apollo use one of them. I think that's definitely how it's going to go. Um, Drake, thank you for the uh, donation. Uh, so, Apollo and Eve were being quite tricky. Uh, <laughs> they were barking and hissing, a fight that was sticky. Cats may be fine, and dogs are divine, but with pet beds, they can be total, totally pre uh, picky. <laughs> yeah, pretty accurate. Uh, to be fair, Eve has occasionally hissed at Apollo. It's not forever. Normally, a good bat around the head um, sort of gets the uh, gets the message across. Um, so they are actually pretty good together. Um, all things that uh, Apollo is a hyper excited excited Mally and is probably a bit too excited. Certainly a bit too excited for Cass, but um, they do get on surprisingly, surprisingly well, uh, which is always which is always good. But I don't know what the game's done. Yeah, well, well, it is funny watching their battles for the for the dog bed. They are actually, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty good, um, all things considered, which I'm I'm very very glad about. Uh, Cass is still a little bit scared of the dog. Um, the dog would never Apollo would never do anything, but it is the size and the bounciness that's the that's the problem for Cass. Cass is a very shy, very quiet cat. Uh, wonky hoodie, thank you very much for the donation. I say I hope you win. Well, thank you. I, I'm glad someone has some confidence in me. Uh, I would like to, it would be nice. I don't have much co so far. Not gone well. Uh, we're going for all the cheesy cars today. Uh, where is where is the cheesy cheesy car? Here we go. <laughs> See, my rammer is not the best built rammer in the world, but they are good. Um, so yeah, we will. We will give it a try. We will give it a try. Uh, Apollo's decided that sharing half the bed wasn't quite right, so he's now just got his head on it and the rest of him off. Because, sure, whatever works. Whatever's comfortable. You never know with bloody dogs. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> right. Rama. I mean, this circuit is pretty chaotic. It's pretty narrow in places, if this is the one that I think it is. I was just selecting tracks at random, because I can't remember the names of a lot of them. It would be helpful. I don't quite know why Wreckfest doesn't, when you're in a lobby, doesn't have the, like, pictures for you to select the circuits from. It would be really easy. Like, you, you can do it when you like, setting up a lobby. Like, the initially... You can do it. You can see the the, the the tracks and so on. I don't know why, when you're in the lobby, 
Um, it, it, it decides not to let you do that. It's really strange. Uh, it, it would be really helpful if it could. But, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> That's 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 Wreckfest for you. Um, right, we have got a selection of vehicles: Raven, Razors, Sunrise Super, a couple of Nexuses in there. Um, and we are waiting for Liam to to ready up. Somebody go and shout at Liam. <laughs> oh, wait, Liam select the car. There we go. Right, we shall. We all got, we got a good selection. Of oh, we're a well. Wow, the game's given me an entire road to myself. How very kind of it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was the road all the way at the back, but... <laughs> oh, dear. Um, well... <laughs> oh, there's just been... There was accidents in front, and... I, I, I apologise, Kai. I got nowhere to go in that. Someone's eaten some tyres and having a fly. We have eaten some barriers and... Not barriers, some bumps and having our own little fly. There's a... Oh, the other Rama RS is having an adventure in the dirt... Uh, we will sneak our way past. And, I mean, well, we're 10th. It's honestly about as good as it could have been expected from that shocking start. Longbow with a great catch. That is front-wheel drive in action for you right there. Uh, <laughs> that should have gone round, but a big bounce off the wall and then just boot it. And front-wheel drive pulls itself back into just about the right position. Uh, I was surprised Longbow got away with that, actually. I mean, as, as much as I know, uh, you know front-wheel drive boot it and drags the car straight again. That was a big hit on the rear. I'm surprised it didn't send the car around. Uh, but we will look for a way past, if at all possible. I don't know where we're going to find... This is a difficult track to overtake on at times. You've got... I mean, you've got a good opportunity down here if you're close enough to have a dive under braking, as Longbow may well be about to do on the... I think it's the Sunrise. Uh, gets to the inside, although he's then stuck in the middle of a fight all the way through turns one and two in this area. We're looking to try and get involved if we can. Oh, well, I mean, we, we had a run. We got to the inside, unfortunately. I don't think they realised I was having a look to the inside. Tried to shut the door, and, well, there was already a rammer and quite a heavily armoured rammer on the inside. We spun off of it. They rolled off of it. We came out considerably better. Yeah, you don't really want to have... Although, to be fair, the Sunrise was quite heavily armoured as well. And so, we got a move... We got a position back from uh, from Bumpy in this one. Liam is leading the way. I am struggling to get slowed down through here. But it's fine. We will at least have a decent run through this kind of first chicane bit. All right, can we chase down whatever that is in front of us? Maybe, possibly. We will be all over the curves. I'll uh, try whatever we can to make up some laps. I think we have run a little bit of pace over some of these cars, because when we were with Longbow, we were catching this group. Gliska's brightly coloured machine is right behind. Oh, we got really awkward landing on the bump there. Just didn't want to get the car settled. Is it a speed demon, I think, in front? Yeah, we will go for the dive to the inside at the final corner. Maneuver, try and block the apex, if at all possible, uh, which we do. Gliska followed us through in that pass as well. We've got a small man with an estate car of some sort up ahead. Don't know what quite. I think it's just a normal hammerhead by the looks of it. Uh, we are going to probably run out of laps. Bigger concern will be Gliska finding a way past, I think, more than anything uh, in terms of, yeah, positions. We're out to eight. That bump, we just cannot get the car settled. Hmm. I don't know why we're struggling. I don't, don't remember other cars having as many issues over that bump. Is going to have a think about that dive. Uh, we'll pry the door open a little bit, but is then going to be on the outside through here, which you don't want to be on particularly. So it has to fall back into line. That's definitely where I think we're going to be vulnerable to a uh, Gliska looking for a way past. Now, there is another way they could try if they're brave. They could try going the other line through this sort of change split root section. Uh, we take a tight line ourselves, but we just can't match the boomer for pace off of there. Uh, we have got we've got a great run through the chicane, but we are to the wrong side at the final corner. We are going to go for the sneaky cutback and um, kind of pry the door a little bit open, but we are then on the outside through here. 
Oh, God, it's so close. We've just got the nose in ahead, but we are going to be vulnerable again at this next braking zone. It's a fantastic battle because we don't really like the bumps in this car as much as that boomer, surprisingly. Uh, we're going to try and cut back now. Gliska does a great job there covering the inside, although I actually got a little bit uh, of oversteer. Oh, bump the barrier. Got big twitch of oversteer off the barrier there. Still struggling to get that thing to stop snaking. That was unfortunate. That was a really, really good battle for position right there uh, with, with Gliska. That was a fantastic race. It might have only been for eighth, but that was awesome. We will be very sideways across the line. Oh... That was, really, as I say, that was really unlucky. That was such a great race up until... Well, it, it was a great race. Unfortunate for Kliska. Just a small nick on the barrier was enough just to unsettle the car. And then it just wibbled its way down the road. Oh. We will take an eighth place in that one. But yeah, great battle. Uh, I think we were we were kind of... It was a Hammerhead RS, actually. It just lost its wing. Uh, we could maybe have caught the Hammerhead. We could have battled with the Hammerhead with Aaron. Actually, Aaron ended up saying a good, good, good run for uh, from Aaron in that one. Um... But uh, yeah, that was a that was a manic battle over over eighth place. Um, yeah, Rammer wasn't too bad. Didn't really like the bump there though. I don't know whether the suspension was a bit too stiff or what it was with that. It really did not like that bump, which kind of made life a little bit difficult for me, shall we say? Uh, had to be a little bit a little slower. But yeah, I don't think the car quite worked as well there as um, uh, as perhaps some of the circuits. Um, but, uh, yeah, oh, that was, had a terrible start to the race, but we did actually have a, a good race overall. Uh, we're going for the close eyes and see where we land approach. Oh, don't do demo derbies. But the demo derbies are just a disappointment in this game, pretty much. Uh, Dry Town Desert Circuit. Sure, and we will go the normal way around it. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. I like this track. Not everyone does like this track, but uh, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I, uh, it's a bit of a mayhem turn one. Um, so we will see. Uh, yeah, Knight, don't, don't worry about it. There's so many cars in there. I couldn't do anything about turning you into the wall, I don't think. It was just cars bounced across. And I think once you got caught on, like, the, the bash bar on the front of my car, you get turned into the wall and I get stuck because you kind of spear across the front. Yeah, it, 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 nothing you can do about that one. Unfortunate, but it is the... Um, that's the way it goes sometimes. And this turn one here is going to be interesting. I'm going to stick with a rammer. I think. This being all dirt, well, the rammer should be good. The rammer's got very good traction. So we get it get it out of the dirt corners quite nicely. Uh, so hopefully we can make up some time with, uh, with that. Fingers crossed. We can have a good run. We shall... We shall see. Um... So yeah, what will we, what will we go up against? Uh, Longbow's got the Nexus, of course. Bumpy's sticking with the Nexus. Uh, what is Nine Towers driving? A Boomer. I'm uh, sure that will make its way through the pack quite quickly. Uh, Liam's got the Razor. Uh, we are just waiting on a Liam, I think. And then we'll be good to go. Yeah, there's the usual mix. Aaron's got a hearse. Aaron is expecting chaos at this point. Um, so... <laughs> It's, it's possible. It's always possible. Chaos is always possible. But I just I would be very surprised if we had a high number of DNFs here. Um, although turn one is dangerous. You either want to be inside front row or I say possibly bad. No, there's no real good start places here. <laughs> there's, there's not inside front row is probably your safest place. We are inside. I would rather be on the inside than the outside, because I know what's likely to happen. Um, although everyone has been very well behaved. Nicely done. Nicely done. That was I guess we didn't have you don't have a huge amount of speed going into turn one on the first lap. That's something. But yeah, well done everybody. I am very, very impressed that uh, we managed to make that one work. Mine, the type I can't see. There's a teddy bear in the way. Um, oh well, I mean <laughs> I mean, me and Lombo have not had a great time in all of this. I'm trying to give space to cars so they don't end up in indestructible tyre bundles, but, uh, yeah, it's easier said than done, to be honest. Uh, there we go. We are... I mean, we survived lap one, which is 
about as good as it can, as good as you can hope for. <laughs> Lombo's got stuck on the outside with the lightweight car against some bigger vehicles, but might get the pass completed here. Maybe we will wait and see. Uh, we're trying to keep our car alongside. It's not quite good enough. Uh, with Amy is out wide over the tire bundles with Stella, collects a bunch of those, but uh, loses a little bit of time. But it's, it could have been worse. Uh, we have sorted ourselves out in sixth at the moment, which is good. Try and get the power down out of these corners, which we know we can do quite well with this car. Can we go for a dive underneath Longbow? Uh, we almost got, there was a gap, Longbow did leave a little bit of a gap, but we couldn't quite get our car to uh, find it, sadly. Uh, Danger Man is up into second, is it Liam third with the green razor, possibly? I'm not actually sure, uh, carrying the missile on the top, and then it's Nine Tails ahead of Longbow. We are pulling away from Small Man at the moment, which is good news for us. I'm aggressively attacking the curb. That was not really a curb, the mound of dirt that marks. They are no too brave. Bounce off a wall as well, which did not help matters. Uh, that, I think, has probably blown any chance of us getting up any positions. Now, ah, just got it stuck on the wall. Bounced it off the wall a bit of an awkward angle, and then couldn't gather it. And I've just not got pace today uh, at all. None, none of the pace, it, even, in, even in the rammer that should be very good at this track. Um, just can't. Can't carry the speed uh, with this. Liam's battling away with Longbow. Liam's razor is struggling a little bit around here. It doesn't seem to be quite liking this track as much as some others. Uh, I mean, it's still close. It's close between the top five. I mean, it's the closest we have been up to the front for a while. Not bad from how far back we started from. It is always a survive the mayhem at the start. Uh, Amy is second or so back from us so we've got to be careful any little slip up could put us in trouble Liam is having a look not quite able oh, to get past or repass a longboat Liam finds a lot of tyres that razor is not having a good time here that razor is struggling a little bit unfortunately we may run out of laps but we'll give it our best no 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 what the laggy weird crash and speed up was that I mean I'm glad for the speed boost but uh, not quite sure why. We bumped the wall and then we've had someone been putting like uh, the, the stunt props around the track. Maybe. Maybe. Um, yeah, we just don't have, we don't have the pace in this. Amy's gonna try and have a look to the inside. Um, make it as awkward as possible for a car to get alongside. Uh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, they're indestructible tyres on that point. Too far to the inside. We'll, we'll do that one, I'm afraid. Man, Gliska and co. have pulled away. I mean, we've not had a great final couple of laps. Apparently that was a slightly better lap somehow. Um, yeah, then that's, that's that. Uh, I think I need to rebuild my rammer. <laughs> it's supposed to be very good here, but it's, it's been all right. Probably take off some of the armour and... Uh, yeah, take some armor off, make it lighter, and then lose a little bit of power would probably be the way to go. I can't remember why it has the armor. I guess it was to make make the the points and potentially survive. I can't remember if it was used in something. It might have been used in like a tournament or something uh, where there were destruction races involved. Um, but yeah, uh, it was all right. We did get down to a 37-1. I think that was the final lap of the race. We actually got a bit of pace, which was not too bad. Um... Gliska was only actually about a tenth behind uh, uh, Gliska's lap time in the end. The Nexuses were a little bit faster. The Boomer, the Nine Tails' Boomer, about half a second down the road. We were catching back up to the uh, to the Razor by the end of it, but uh, unfortunately, just ran out of time. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, Amy. We did we did have a. Um, we, we did have a bit of an accident that ended up with uh, the, with you again, finding the very, very solid tyres that, uh, that could fall over. Uh, Broken Biscuit, thank you for the attention. Say, hi, Alex. Can I request Big Valley Outer Loop, please? Sure, okay, we can have a go there. Uh, also, how did you get hold of the Hammerhead RS? Oh, it was one of the prize cars. I, can't. I think you have to do the tournaments to earn the points, and then you can spend the points, and the Hammerhead RS is one of the cars you can buy. 
I think. And that was one of the first ones that uh, I would buy because it's a, you know, racing estate car, pretty much. So yeah, <laughs> that's 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 how I got it. Um, I think unless there was a weird way to do it, I don't remember there being a weird way to do it. However, yeah. Uh, right, we will go for four laps around here. We'll go B class, I think. This is the one I think it is. Yep. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Hmm. I mean, top speed is going to be important. What has got the most top speed of mine? Hot shots, not bad. Hammerhead's not terrible. I mean, I could drive the Grand Duke and just be. The heavyweight. That is 9.1 top speed. What? Yes, I'm going to have the Gorby. Why does that have so much speed? I mean, I don't really know how this translates. I think it's all nonsense, but screw it. I say I think it's all nonsense. I, I think it's not really very accurate, but I, I'm bewildered by how it's figured out the Gorby's the fastest thing I own. In fact, is the Gorby the fastest thing I own? Um, I can't go higher than B-class, of course. I was going to see if I... Yeah, the Gorby's not even supposed to be a speed car. The Gorby was built for King of the Hill. <laughs> Actually, it might not even be built for that. It might have been built for Mark, Marked Man at some point, and then I changed it. It ran in a King of the Hill. Um... Screw it. Let's see if it does actually go warp speed. <laughs> yes, it's the glorious power of communism is powering the Corpy. That's 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 how it works. Um, it might get killed in a crash immediately, but dear God, if it doesn't, it's going to be a rocket ship, I am hoping. Uh, it might have long gears. Actually, that is true. It might have been tuned to do long gears. Uh, they are lengthened. Does that affect? Oh, okay, that does affect the stats. Oh, I don't think they affected the stats. It's not like Forza. That would be why. Um, as we have found out, yes, the uh, the tuning does affect the stats quite considerably as well, which is cool. Um, but uh, there we go. Uh, Ethan, thank you very much for the donation. So, evening, Alex. Hopefully, uh, my luck is in with the numbers this time, given recent attempts. Uh, I'm sure your luck will change at some point as well this evening. Fingers crossed. We've had a couple of good races. Uh, not, 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 not towards the front, but we've had some good races. Um, however, you have got the donation. You have got the numbers spot on on the donation bar. It is 333.33, which is 22.22%. Um nicely done. The maths was correct and no one donated at the same time to ruin the nice uh, nice amount of numbers. Uh, I think the hot bombs are going to probably be very fast. Um, I imagine they've got good top speed. Well, I guess we will find out. Right, little Gorby, how fast will you, you go? I suspect a lot of people will have long gears for this. Um, but there we go. Oh, my brakes are not great. But that's fine. Whoa, we will snap sideways. And there is maybe a yeah. There's a gap to put a Gorby in some way. Nope, my luck has not continued. We all just get spun in front of the whole pack. Um, although the Venom's also had a turnaround as well. <laughs> so just if there is uh, one car that's going to have a bad time, currently that car is mine. Uh, but you know we shall try our best to recover here. There is a chance for chaos. That's that's the main hope for us. And I'm kind of curious to see how fast the Gorby does actually go in a straight line. I mean, nothing's going to be doing 250 miles an hour in this game. But, um... I mean, it's still only doing like 100 before we get to a corner. So, yeah, the straight's not really long enough to see how fast the Gorby actually is. Well, we've made, we're, we're not too far off the back of the pack. And this, although I'll tell you what, tripod's like crazy over uh, over that section. Right. Come on. Come on, little box. We can chase down a hearse. We can't be beaten by a hearse. That would be terrible. We're certainly not being outturned by it, at least. That's something. Danger Man and Gliscar are faster uh, than we are going. Oh, there's going to be a little there's going to be a little gap. Oh, we put it in neutral. 
Okay, that's the downside of the long gears. Forget <laughs> that was actually in first already. Damn it! There was a wonderful gap for an overtake that we thought we tried to use, and it didn't work. <laughs> God damn it! Can we get to the inside of the hearse? Yes. Can we understeer a lot into the hearse? Also, yes. Uh, not what we were going for there. Outload of understeer from this. Right. Oh. That's fine. I mean, it's a bit of a janky exit from that, but uh, we have got back onto the circuit. Oh, there's a crash for someone. Is that Liam having a bad day? Click the outside concrete and... Got smart. This thing is not turning at all. Oh, Gliska's out. Uh, Gliska has had a big old shunt there. Don't go down to neutral. Oh, come on. Bloody hell. And it just kicked itself sideways. Um, right. Come on, little Gorby. Tenth is not far away. I mean, it's been assisted by some cars going out of the race. Nine Tails has got to the front of the pack. Uh, the Corvette has had a dive. Well, God damn it. This car is terrible as well. Uh, I, I, don't know what, I don't know what my driving is today. I've just Everything has got a mile of understeer and feel like the brakes don't work. And I don't know why. I mean, I, don't have, I, said, I haven't played this game for a while. But, uh, oh, Gliska's in a really bad place. Well, what's left of Gliska's car is in a really bad place. Sorry to shadow there. It's not going for that kind of manoeuvre. Particularly, there was a panic when we got to the corner and suddenly Gliska's car was in the way. Oh, this is the final lap of the race. I thought I'd put it to slightly more, but uh, no, that is not the case. Oh, we might sneak our way into a top ten because Bumpy had to avoid the wreck of Gliska's car. We will cross the line. And... It's a tenth. Uh, it's, it's a tenth in that one. Uh... Nine Tails claims victory with the hot bomb. Danger Man is second. Kazier is third with that sunrise. And there's a Amy, Stevie, Dopey, Longbow, Al Alcropona. Sure. Uh, small man, and we do end up in tenth. We got tenth on the final quarter, pretty much. Um, we had, yeah, we got a sneaky pass on Bumpy. Let's get unlucky. Um, this is very unlucky in that one, battling away at the front. Um, just it came around a corner, and suddenly there was a car without a wheel. Uh, bloody hell, crusty! <laughs> Good God! Um, thank you very much for an incredibly, incredibly generous donation. Um, you've now got the donation bar at four 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 point four four. Apollo will get a very fancy bed. Um, Apollo will get a very, very fancy bed indeed. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank, thank you very much for, for an incredibly generous donation. Uh, Apollo will, will, will turn, will turn the camera on. Apollo will appreciate it because he's currently, oh, there he is. He's currently having to make do with a tiny corner. Uh, there you go. That is, that is the, uh, the pet cam going on. <laughs> uh, yeah. All that bed, all that bed, and he has got the littlest of corners. He's comfy though. He can like you know. He's he's comfy. He's happy. Eve is loving life. Um, Eve does need all that space. You are you are not wrong. Eve does need all of the space possible. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Eve, I should also point out, Eve is sat in a really dumb way. Um, Eve is currently laid one way with her head, like, pointing back the other way. I can't imagine it's comfy, but uh, apparently it is. Apparently it is. Um, <laughs> Chris, if you bought Apollo the bed, well, you see, the plan is, right, if I have two dog beds, Eve can't take, if I put them in different parts of the office, Eve can't take up both. She can be on one, and Apollo can go on the other. And then if she steals Apollo's, Apollo can go to the other one, right? That's the plan. I'm sure she'll find a way, but... Because uh, <laughs> I know what she's bloody like. Um, however, yeah, who we'll see what happens. Oh, Sav Savlock Sandpit. Let's go to the short route around here. We'll go seven laps. 
Okay, sure. I do this joke very often. Um, it is not remote control cars on the shelf. It is a whole bunch of Lego cars on the shelves that I have in my office. I have many, many Lego cars. In fact, I have more Lego cars than I can store. Although I did did do a um, IKEA trip a couple of weeks ago, so I have got a new display case. I haven't got around to building it yet. Might do it this weekend. Depends on what I'm going to be doing. But. Um, Yes, I have now finally got storage, hopefully, for all my LEGO cars, to build up all of my LEGO cars. Um, uh, LEGO streams are possible. I might have to rearrange my office or rejig my office a bit to do uh, to do some LEGO streams. I'm not quite, how I'd, not, not quite sure how I'd do it. I think I could. But yes, LEGO building streams might come back. We can play the old Guess the Rolled Hot Wheels car game and all that. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to... Uh, what have I got left to build? I've got McLaren Formula 1 car. I've got the big Ferrari to build. The SP3. Um, I also have the LEGO Caterham to build as well. Um, I, I've got that. I've got the Batmobile to build. I've got the white Porsche 911 RSR to build... I have a couple of others as well that I can't. I think I have the, I have the little Bond DB5 and the little Dodge Charger. I still need to buy the um, oh, the Camaro. I still need to buy the Fast and Furious Skyline as well when I can. Because um, I haven't got that one yet. Yeah, I've got the Camaro to build. I think that's all I have to build. I probably missed some stuff though. Um, there's. There's probably more. I haven't bought the BMW bike yet. I might get that at some point as well, as that's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of I have a lot of Lego to be building, and I will hopefully now have enough space to display it all because that's the biggest that's the biggest problem. Because uh, I can't you can't just leave it like you've got to be very careful with the amount of pets I have. Um, you can't just leave it lying around because yeah, bad things bad things can, will, and do happen. Uh, oh no, Bumpy! Oh no! <laughs> Don't put me in a barrier! <laughs> I thought we were going off the edge there. Uh, I very much thought we were going off the edge. Thankfully, we were not. Uh, we're getting to the inside of Ninetales. A little bit more of a robust pass on Ninetales than I intended, but we are up into a third place. Now, Hammerhead... I know, you, I know this is a quick car. I know this is by far away my fastest car. The car I'm probably best at driving. Possible exception of my Gremlin. Um, at times, anyway. Uh, oh, I'm just not having a great driving day. Ninetales wants to have a look through here, but I want to take a tighter line for the exit. Ninetales wants it. We get a slide. Oh, we get a slide all the way down the hill. Moment where we look for a... Whoa, very sideways. I lock the front brakes, trying to not murder the sunrise. So the sun... That's... Ah. That's unfortunate. So I got a great run through there. The sunrise was very sideways, and in trying not to drive into the side of it, I grabbed the brakes, but it was just a little bit too much, and I locked them, so we just got a load of understeer going on, which was a bit unfortunate. We can fight back to the inside of Nine Tails, but we bounce off the door, and it sends us sideways, which isn't great. Um, oh, come on then. Let's see if we can get ourselves back onto the podium here. That would be good. Uh, Nine Tails. He's got quite a lot of understeer through there. Ninetales is struggling more through that final quarter than we are. Uh, we've definitely got the speed in places. Oh, I wanted to fire the nose down the inside, but Ninetales kind of covered it. Uh, we are looking for any gap down there, but it's just not existent, unfortunately. We tried. <laughs> we are looking for every which way past. Danger Man is in, well, danger of losing the lead of the race here. And it looks like... It has gone, although they're going to battle each other. Oh, and there has been a bump. It has promoted me to third, which I'll take uh, in a heartbeat, uh, how this one here has gone. I think Danger Man's car is working at this track. It does not seem to be enjoying life around the sand pit here. Uh, if anything, we might have one of the faster cars of the top group. I don't know, Longbow might be catching and might will be quicker. I've taken that jump wrong. Um, so, yeah, we will try and gain some time, if at all possible, through one of these corners. Now it's Ninetales' turn to have a look to the inside, but uh, the gap disappears before they can get the car fully alongside. Now Ninetales' car is much bigger and heavier. Uh, you do not want that 
Oh, alongside will brush the wall. Longbow is catching at the moment. Nine tails is to the inside. We are going to try and follow the gap made by... I don't know what Ninetales is driving. Is that the Star Beast? I'm not sure. Um, I don't recognise it. Uh, we're going to try and cross over. Danger Man on the jump. No, the Sunrise has got a great run up the hill. It's going to go a little bit wide into this section. We're going to make it three wide. It's a sneaky manoeuvre from the Hammerhead, but I can't hold it. The back end let go. Almost got both of them in one go through there. Oh... Yeah, the Sunrise doesn't look easy to drive, but it has, if it goes goes well, it is uh, got some pace in some of the corners. Uh, we are a more traditional line through turn one, but I actually mess it up slightly. Danger Man slides on the exit, which has given us a good drive across the jump. That might promote me up into second. Oh, the cars get connected and neither of us can steer on that one. Thankfully, we got it sorted, but it is going to be a victory again for the nine tails <laughs> we had pace on this one we actually did have some good pace and i've actually completely messed up the final corner there that was absolutely rubbish of me but oh we will cross the line in second <laughs> it was the star beast at the front we definitely had a lot more pace there lombo was very quick with the nexus but started further back i presume and um only, only had time to climb up to uh, to fourth ahead of Amy. Gliska is sick. Uh, Casey are unlucky. Uh, dropped down to seventh, tangling with uh, with Danger Man. Uh, then it is Liam, Stevie, and Al Crapone. No, Al. I don't know. <laughs> Not how to, I will call you Al, Al Crapone. Sure. Um, ends up tenth. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. It was. It was much better. That was a much better race. We actually had a lot of pace in that car. Danger Man was struggling at that track. Um, we definitely had pace. Oh, if I hadn't got the big slide, we could have maybe got both of them in one go. But just trying to get on the throttle a little bit too eager. Um, got, uh, got us in trouble. Got us in trouble on that one. Um, but... There we go. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We wanted to go for... Uh, where should we go? You know where we ha what we haven't done yet? Got to try and find it. Where is it? Uh, do, do, do. I can't remember the name of... This is why it would be easier if we had pictures. Let's go. That has not loaded. I don't think that's the track I wanted anyway, but I have realised it's not loaded the track, so we'd have to reload regardless. Uh, you know, screw it, let's go Dirt Oval. Not Dirt Oval, I want figure of eight. Whoops! <laughs> um, I wanted the figure of eight, not the... That's the one we wanted. Perfect. Uh, Shady Brady, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, podium! Indeed, we did manage to sneak on. We stuck on the podium, and that time wasn't just a pure gift. I think we legit had pace around there. The hammerhead was legit pretty damn good. Um, oh, I'm going to go. This is a brave, maybe poor choice. <laughs> this is maybe a poor choice. However... However, the bulldog. So my, the bulldog I have on here, right, is very, very, very quick in the corners. This was running the C class tournament we did a little while ago. Very quick in the corners, um, and at the end of the day, a figure of eight is a lot of cornering. So lap time wise, we will be unbelievably fast. The problem is, if we get hit, we will be broken very quickly. Uh, it's it's the, the it's the risk we take. Um, it is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I, this is either we're going to be really fast or we're going to be really broken. There is no real in-between. We're not going to be intermediate. We're not going to be mid-pack pace-wise here. Uh, I don't... Well, may, I mean, it's possible. We might end up being. Uh, if we start on pole, we could run away until we get hit at the crossover. <laughs> that's, that's quite distinctly possible. Um, it, yeah. 
Mayhem is going to happen, there is no doubt about it. Some of it might happen to me, some of it might not. We will wait and see. I, I fear, I fear for the poor bulldog. If it does get involved in mayhem, it won't last long. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I don't want to be on the outside quite a long way back. Outside, long way back is not great. Not a great start here. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't go anywhere with that one if I turned it any more. We we're just going to crash into Gliska. Uh, and unfortunately, some cars found themselves in the outside outside wall. So, yeah, bad start for us. Ninetales, guess what? He's leading the way again. Um, there is a killer bee doing a wheelie uh, or doing a tripod. This is where you will hopefully see the corner grip of the bulldog come good. It's a little oversteery, but we are on dirt, so I think everything is going to be. Um, I'm not going to be able to go around the out. Well, I could. I'd have the grip to go around the outside there. There should be too many cars in this area at the moment. The motorhome is having a surprisingly good race so far. Whether it's going to continue and hold on having a good race, we will wait and see. Um, or oh, the sofa just got across in front before mayhem unfolded. Uh, I've got a little bit stuck in that I have more pace than I am currently able to utilise. But, uh, yeah, we're <laughs> just stuck here. Uh, we can probably go around the outside of the El Matador, uh, which is then... Oh, sorry, Amy. We were assisted. Oh, the motorhome's gone over. Danger Man has gone for a falling over moment. Bumpy survives the crossover. We are up to third. Uh, the El Matador is back. Hello. Uh, I'm gonna desperately try and run away. Liam's there as well. We've still got the, we've got the speed. We've got the speeds to hold on. Uh, oh, that's a little too brave from me. We should still be able to get off of that corner quite quickly though. Uh, there's a hay bale. I think they can roll the cars if I am not careful. So... Yeah, oh, beans. <laughs> I don't want that. Every lap, we're getting closer to getting hit by that. Uh, that's bad. Are we going to be in front of that this time around? I think we are just going to get clear of it. Wonderful. That is what we like, because now, next time around, we should be well clear of it. We are. Fan okay, fantastic. We can focus on hunting down Bumpy for a second place here. We pulled clear of Amy, who is... Oh, Amy's battling Liam back there. Although, of course... A lot of things can go on in this race. A lot of things can go on in that crossover as the pack gets spread out, as other crashes occur. Uh, we're going to try and cut underneath Bumpy. We're just going to get the acceleration here. The <laughs> Bulldog is so good at this, lap speed-wise. The thing that I fear is the thing that might be about to happen oh, is that the crossover, we will get broken if we get hit. We have no strength. Uh, so we can't afford to have an argument with cars here. Uh, me and Bumpy both have to go on the brakes, and Bumpy has come out of that better of the two of us. We will turn underneath. Uh, oh, we try to get past. Oh, we're going on the brakes. Not going to get involved in that. Yep, it was the right call. Bumpy made the little mistake. Did did try and get the get through the gap. It didn't quite work out. Unfortunately for me, I've got to go on the brakes. Go behind the Mustang. We will round the final corner. It's across the line in second. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. I couldn't quite match Ninetales' lap with the Outlaw. Um, although, I, to be fair, Ninetales just got to drive around on their own, completely unbothered by anybody else. I, my lap time was done in uh, <laughs> in traffic. I don't know where I might have been able to in, uh, in clean air. I have no idea. Uh, surprisingly calm for a figure of eight. Um, surprisingly calm. Right there. Gliska ends, oh, Gliska ends up third. Don't know what happened to Bumpy and Amy. Because they were, I could have sworn they were third, literally coming towards the line. Uh, so Bumpy ends up fourth ahead of Amy. Small man is sixth ahead of Casey, and then it is Longbow Dopey. Uh, I'm going to call you Al Crapone because I think it's, it's fitting with what your name is supposed to be as well, so it works. Uh, <laughs> So there we go. Uh, Danger Man fell over a lot. Funny that. Um, funny, funny Danger Man fell over a lot in the... Um, 
uh, motorhome. That's the one. I remember vehicles. Ah, oh dear. Uh, right, let us go and select. Where shall we go racing? I uh, uh, don't know. Um, you know what? Let's go. Let's go. Where is it gone? We have got here for a little while. It won't be long until we start getting some of the silly, silly races going on. But for the moment, let's do a six lap race with cars. We do a lot of silly races with like things like motorhomes and so on. So let's we'll do a couple of these with actual cars and see how how things how things go. Um, uh, Na Nash Nashtara? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that one correctly. Thank you very much for the addition. Saying, well, uh, happy uh, Foxy is here to cheer you up. Good luck for your next race. Hey, it worked. We <laughs> we actually had a very good run. The Bulldog somehow survived the um, mayhem of a figure of eight, which, which it really shouldn't. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with that. I'm very pleased the Bulldog made it through that mess. What do I want? You know what? We're going to drive the Sweeper. Why not? It's not very strong, but... We'll have a go with something different. Um, uh, Chris in Sweden, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, uh, don't set the suspension uh, softer than necessary. It makes a huge difference to the cornering. Uh, though no matter how good the settings are, some uh, sessions the car just won't bounce the right way. Uh, it's some. It's it's how it goes sometimes with uh, with these. When the, when the cars do start bouncing around, can be quite... Uh, Quite, quite problematic. Yeah, I, I see. I don't know how to tune the cars on this game. I'm sure they're not. The tuning's not crazy complicated, but I don't really know. Other than I probably will lock the diff. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not an expert. As I say I'm not an expert. I don't know at all what I'm doing um, when it comes to uh, comes to this. Oh, we've got you. Yeah. So this, this is a, an open lobby, by the way. As spaces appear, as, as people have to go. Uh, you are more than welcome to to jump in as long as you don't drive like a complete lunatic. Um, yeah, you are more than you are more than welcome to to join. Uh, he's in no possession, but yeah, there's only 16, unfortunately, uh, able to take part at uh, at a time. But yeah, as as and when spaces appear, you are welcome to to jump into the session. Uh, Drake. Thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying two things. Uh, one, uh, a joke. I once went to a doctor who told me they needed to take a urine sample. I was not amused, thinking they're taking the piss. That's going to be a boo to you. From <laughs> from chat and indeed from me. The dog is currently upside down. Hold on. Hold on. I will go back to reading the rest of the donation, but I think you should all see... The dog. Well, that's the way to put the camera. Wait. Can't reach. Dog's decided to sleep like that. You can't feel Apollo. He's just looking at me. I don't, you probably can't see the details because it's a webcam. It's not very good. Um, oh, there we go. <laughs> someone's, someone's slightly awake. Um, but, uh, yeah. I thought I'd have to show you. Any regularly, he's a regularly upside down dog. Oh, no, it's common for dogs um, and everything. But yeah, he is a very upside down dog. Uh, oh, also the rest of it. The cult of the one P is not amused at anyone reviving the cult of sixty nine. Uh, <laughs> cult of one P has got it back for the moment. Uh, also, P.S. Someone get the bar to four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I'm sure as if someone tries, it'll it'll manage to get. Because Ethan has tried before. Ethan was successful today. Um, at getting the bar to read certain numbers. That was crusty, to be fair. Uh, however, they did not always have too much luck getting to uh, to certain uh, certain numbers. Right, sweeper. Let's try and have a good rule. That's a laggy, laggy thing. I don't know what uh, what it was, but it was a, a oh god. Nine tails took a brave line cutting across the front of the whole pack. <laughs> that is not the line you want. Oh, I got a bit too greedy on the throttle there. Uh, we do not want to be crossing over if we can help it. Um, I much prefer sticking to whee, one side. Uh, oh no. Sorry, Stevie. <laughs> Bus has fallen over. Oh, uh, Yes, Apollo is a, is a Malinois. Well, well, well done for, the, for, for those that spot it. Everyone, I mean, because 
Malinois is very similar, fairly similar to German Shepherds. They're the more common one. Everyone presumes he's a German Shepherd. Um, about 95% of people who see him, like if, if people talk to, you know, walking him or whatever, just assume he's a German Shepherd. But uh, he's indeed a Belgian Malinois, and he is crazy, but on the Malinois scale, is about as least crazy as possible, which I'm very <laughs> grateful for. Uh, whoa! Hello. Well. That came out of absolutely bloody nowhere. That has pretty much been my my luck for today. Yeah, <laughs> how on earth was I ever going to be able to dodge that? Um, it was hidden behind another car until the last second, and then all of a sudden, just Mud Digger turns up. We were having a good race at one point, and it's long since gone here. It's long, long since gone. Oh dear, we were allowed one good race. But yeah, I mean we, yeah. <laughs> It didn't even do that much damage, it just hit the door and the spun us round. We just lost a whole heap of time. That was that was it. I uh, don't know whether we've got the braking right there. I have just about um, made the corner at least. There is some spinning. Oh, Stevie's, Stevie's also having a bad time. Stevie's having a terrible time at the moment. Uh, come on, sweeper. Here we go. Uh, we will put some of power down. No, not again. Not again! <laughs> Shadow got way up, got off way worse than I did there. Oh, dear. Um, oh, yeah. Well, we dodged the mud digger, but uh, Nine Tails has taken victory. We are going to be too far back to do all that much here. Uh, Longbow is... Is it Longbow with the Mud Digger, maybe? Don't know. Possibly. Uh, we will... Yeah, I think it was. Um, we will cross the line and boop a stricken thing. Oh, no, okay, it wasn't Longbow with the Mud Digger. Oh, it was Liam in the Mud Digger, but it just happened to cross the line at about the same sort of distance that Longbow was with the Wild King. Um, yeah. Nine Tails takes victory. Uh... <laughs> Ewan is second ahead of Gliska, that is Danger Man. Very nearly murdered us. Uh, <laughs> very nearly murdered us. Aaron got a hearse to fifth. Nicely done, Aaron. Well done. Uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a hell of a drive for a hearse around here. Kezier is sixth. They had a small band. Longbow. We end up ninth. And Stevie is in tenth. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. My lap time was well off the pace. I don't think we had a particularly great lap anywhere either. It didn't really help, but uh, yeah, the, the the sudden the, the sudden mud digger in the door it kind of put us on a bit of a downward the downward spiral. We recovered. It was one of those very much a case of just recover the, the best that we possibly could, and uh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Here we go. Right, shall we do a one make race? Let's go for. A one make race. We'll go for we'll go for an actual race circuit. Uh, we will go for seven laps with the host's car. We are going to grab some motorhomes and see what happens. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are going to grab the motorhome. As everybody can have a motorhome. Oop. Here it is. The wonderful motorhome racing. Um, that is bound to create much chaos. Uh, FIA Lado. Well, that's definitely, definitely not a bribed for uh, in any way, shape, or form, is it now? God dear. Uh, <laughs> so, penalty for bad luck. Yes, that exists. You must take a race in a honeypot, because if you're going to get crap luck, it may as well be in a toilet. <laughs> oh. I mean... Yeah, <laughs> that is about about accurate, really, right there. Um, uh, I mean, thankfully, this one here, we have all got everybody is in the same vehicle, and it's locked, so you can't, no one can cheat. Uh, everyone's locked in a motorhome, and everyone, um, uh, everyone can can loan one if they don't have one as of yet. Hey, we have got the four, five, 
six seven eight there we go we did it robin d thank you very much for the donation uh saying good morning uh, any chance of more gang beasts or the long drive streams there absolutely is there there absolutely is um today was supposed to be a was supposed to be a long drive stream but carla's got a terrible headache um she was going to have a, a go at experiencing the long drive for the first time. Uh, but, yeah, unfortunately, she's got a terrible headache, so is, uh, is unable to take part. Um, but, yeah, there will be there will be long drive soon. Gang Beasts is always highly entertaining. Um, I have no doubt we will do another one of those in the uh, very near future. Um, I say very near future. Uh, I was contemplating doing Gang Beasts today, to be fair, but I didn't have very long to set up. Uh, as I didn't quite know uh, if Carly was going to make it or not until quite late. So, yeah. Um, Gang Beast will definitely make an appearance at some point. Also, I didn't have a video ready for today. Uh, so, generally, if I do a, a stream of a non-racing game, uh, I have a video for of a racing game uh, ready to go. And I didn't have one for today because I wasn't planning on needing one for today. And tomorrow's... Oh, tomorrow's was uploading. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> That's... That's that's about the only. It was a bit last minute. I didn't have a bit. That's the only reason there isn't a gang beast ones today. Uh, maybe if Carly can't make it next week, there'll be gang beasts. Uh, we will we will have to wait and see. Uh, we are three wide in the motorhome. So mine has got long gears because I think we did motorhome racing at some point and we needed long gears. And it's possible that uh, I haven't put it back. And I don't know if that's great for racing or not. Ewan is about to send this to the inside. Nothing I could do about it. Uh, <laughs> So we will just go around the outside of oh, you and try and get a position back if we can, and the answer is not quite. Uh, Ewan is actually going to make a move past Gliska, which looks like it's going to work. We are going to try and follow. There was a gap left, and we are past. And oh, there's a big bump for two motorhomes. I don't know who that is that's got over. Small man is one of them. Maybe Stevie is the other with the purple one. Not sure. Uh, <laughs> that is two vehicles down. I, well, I, as I have always said, if you're going to have a crash, make sure it is big and on camera and that they obliged. There's a gear in there somewhere as well. That would also help. Yeah, I don't think this super long gearbox is the way to go for one make motorhome racing. I think Gliska might have the same predicament as me. Because uh, I think when we did motorhome racing last in a video, we put the racing engine in it. And when you have all that power, you need to have as long a gears as possible. But for normal racing, you do not. Uh, so <laughs> I think, I think oh, there's a motorhome off to the left. Who's got lost? Who's James made it? That is not the bit of the circuit you need to be on. Uh, I'm hoping to see a Ewan or I think it's Longbow ahead of Ewan. Um, I'm hoping to see somebody else fall over because that's about the only way we're going to get any progress forward um, in this. Uh, into the final quarter. We hit seven laps. Might have been a bit too long of a race. That's yeah, possible. <laughs> uh, but never mind. Never mind. Gliska is there having a think about uh, about a move. You around a little bit wide, although I think he's got some speed on the exit. Let's go get alongside. I'm just hoping... Oh, no, don't go down there. Okay, we just stalled out completely. Yeah, okay, maybe don't bobble that uh, kind of ditch. That just killed every bit of speed that we had going on there. It just all evaporated immediately. Grey van almost fell over. Glisk has been a very aggressive through there. As have we. We've got away with it. Ninetales is behind us uh, at the moment. I don't know whether they will be having a look for a way past soon. I'm sure if there is an opportunity, they will. Uh, we are not doing great with the motorhome. I'm struggling to get the most out of this. We've got a couple of laps to go still. Can we fend off a nine tails for a couple of laps? I don't know. We've lost a window. That's fine. We're weight shedding. That's It's important to dump as much weight out of your motorhome as possible. Uh, I was trying to leave it in second that time around, not to stall, up on, stall out on this hill. Ewan has passed the grey vehicle. I think that might be Aaron. I'm not sure, though. Um, but Ewan is up a, another position. Uh, is anyone going to fall over? Nope. Disappointing. Gliska a long way onto the side there. Gliska's got the most in trouble through all of that. And we will make the most of our opportunity here to uh, look for a way past. 
I just can't get out of the corner. Oh, it's Liam in fifth. Okay. Uh, we are just about ahead of Gliska here. It's not by very much, though. And we know we really struggle getting out of these corners. Oh. Well, <laughs> you can turn in, but if I'm on the inside, you kind of got to wait until I can get my vehicle turned in. Otherwise, it doesn't really work. Uh, right. I guess leave it until it's literally screaming in the rev limiter is the only way to get it up that hill for me, unfortunately. I definitely don't want to hit that part. I, I have a feeling I know what's going to happen. And that is we're going to... Oh, you and so close to falling over through there. Okay, that was not a good line through that. If you go too far to the inside, you actually... You hit the ditch in such a way you lose all your momentum. So there is like a line through there that's good. Uh, unfortunately for me, Nine Tails was just able to shut the door. And yeah, there was... Not much that, uh, I say not much that we could do there. Ah. That is, I say, frustrating. Ninetales has, as perhaps was to be expected, although there's immediately gone wide on the next corner. Oh, come on, motorhome. Come on, you can do this. We're looking for and praying for an accident. There's somebody up ahead, there's no one behind us. Uh, it's difficult. There you go, super aggressive in this next corner, looking for a pass on this corner, the next one with the dip. Uh, in, in, you know, in the hope that we might be able to get a pass. Knowing the risk of falling over is quite great. Uh, we just hit the... We just hit the bump and just lost speed. We don't really go on the side through there. We just lose all of the speed. Um, and that's that's that. It's Casey that takes victory. Nine Tails will end up in sixth uh, at the end of this. We had a good race for a bit. Didn't really have pace in these, unfortunately. Um... Yeah, bad final lap. Very bad final lap, actually, as well. Um, Jesus, Longbow was Longbow was shifting with the motorhomes. I mean, <laughs> you would have got some speed in it as well. I don't think my gearbox helped. Uh, felt very, very sluggish in a in a lot of places. Um, but there we go. <laughs> oh, FIA stewards, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, Lado is right, there is a bad luck penalty, but it is, uh, everyone else gains a five second time penalty, nine tails, you get ten seconds. <laughs> Basically, nine tails has to park at the side of the road for five seconds, and then I guess that's kind of even. Uh, <laughs> it kind of works, right? Um, uh, bloody hell. Bloody hell indeed. I mean, you know where we're going to go, right? Actually, have we, I mean, we must have done these at Hellride. I can't say I remember the motorhomes at Hellride, but let's do it. This is going to end disastrously. And I mean, really disastrously. There will be lots of motorhomes losing lots of bits of bodywork. No, we will drive the buses around here, of course. Uh, we will, we will inevitably uh, have a go with the uh, with the buses around here. Um, but motorhomes should also be quite good fun. Uh, okay, chat. Oh, wonderful folks of chat. Place your bets. Place your bets. How many vehicles are going to finish? Oh, yes, I am going to change my gears. Um... I think I'm going to go for slightly longer than normal, because I don't want to be in the limiter, but we're not going to go crazy long. How many vehicles are going to finish? I reckon six. That is a brave guess. Uh, <laughs> so far I've got five, two, four, seven, four. A couple with sevens, a couple with fours at the moment. Um, it's Drake with one. Zav going nine. Jeez. That's uh, Danger Man Reckoning 11 are going to finish. I mean, it's possible. It is it is possible. We've seen we've seen races where only one car's finished. We've seen races where 12, 13 have finished. Um, Lado Reckoning 0, we have had that once. Only once. But uh, <laughs> uh, there we go. We are on intense damage, which it, it means it's going to be punishing. Um Krusty Reckoning 16. <laughs> if all 16 somehow managed to finish, I would be astounded. Um, 
I would be absolutely astounded if all 16 could manage to make it to the finish line. Uh, even if it was a non-contact race, I think somebody would DNF falling off the ramp. Oh, there's also the rule, of course, that uh, uh, you have to take the jump at all times. The only time you're allowed to avoid it is if you physically can't make it, as in you're pushed by another vehicle or the ramp's full of cars and there's no other way to go. Uh, so, yeah, not only are we on intense damage, we also have the rule of you must take the jump. Uh, if it's all possible, because, you know, otherwise it's boring and no one would ever use it, pretty much. Uh-oh. Oh, beans. Oh, many bad things have happened to a lot of us. I mean, my bad things have mostly been time-related. Um, <laughs> we've lost some health, but it's not the worst it could have been. <laughs> it's, it's not great, but... We didn't actually lose all that much health, which is something. Because our accident was more rolling, slid down the ramp. We didn't actually fall off and have a big hit on the floor. Uh, there has been some big accidents on the landings. Oh, crap, there's a pink thing in the way. Uh, I think that was Shadow. Uh, but we have avoided any further damage on these. I don't know if anybody has... I don't think anybody's DNF'd yet, but there are probably... A fair few poorly cars out there or motorhomes out there. We've done a very cheeky pass on Ewan. <laughs> so riding up on the wall is faster, uh, but we managed to dive ourselves to the inside, sneak past, and then get up onto the wall. Oh crap, we're going to do a front flip. Oh, all of our hard work almost came undone immediately as uh, we got a little bit carried away over the jump. I don't know how that one happened, but there we go. Can we get a great slingshot off the wall? We can. Do I really want to try and overtake Ewan on the ramp? I don't know. There is a stuck vehicle on the jump. Thankfully, we clear it uh, and it's out of the way. Danger Man's had a bad time and had to be reset. We're up to sixth place now. Uh, we are up onto the banking looking for a way past Ewan again. Not quite going to find it there. Nine Tails is in the lead, but not actually that far away. We've made up some quite good time here, all things considered. Uh, how this race started, because we were upside down, sliding down the ramp at the first lap. In fact, oh, I think Ninetales has just had a very big accident. Um, there is a big accident continuing to go on here. Uh, that looks like a wreck for a purple machine. Ninetales maybe got away with most of that. I don't know. <laughs> Nine tails. Someone certainly got hit very hard in that. I'm going to let Bumpy go first up here. The Bumpy can be the uh, explorer over the jump. Oh, crap. I didn't go fast enough over there. Oh, there is Nine Tails. Ewan takes the lead of the race. Okay, Nine Tails obviously didn't get too heavily hit on that one. As their vehicle's still relatively healthy. Gliska's tried to do a sneaky pass on us. Almost worked as well. Danger Man's battling with Ewan up there for the lead of the race. Uh, we will continue to run the bank quarter as much as we can. Gliska will want to pin us up high. Can't quite get there. Uh, Danger Man leads the way. There is a stricken red vehicle circulating around. Oh, God. We get hit. We survive just. Only just. We cling on. Oh, that was so close. That was so close to a really bad time. That was so close to a really bad time. But we made it work. We made it work. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> I think that was Longbow. <laughs> Got launched off Ewan's roof. <laughs> oh, There was like 50% of me wanted to try and catch it. And 50% of me was like, we're in third. And it was lagging. I don't even know if we could have done if we tried. Uh, <laughs> we're now in second. As uh, Ewan hunted, I think, a long bow, but I'm not sure, uh, well out of the way. So Danger Man leads. We can see the red vehicle just going over the jump now. Oh, we have had some trouble. I mean, there are plenty of stricken vehicles littering the circuit. Uh, there is Aaron in a three-wheeled machine. Uh, we will part. We lost a little bit of time to Danger Man. Uh, the ho I mean, I'm not catching Danger Man on pace, right? We're oh... Jeez! I should have just taken the hit. <laughs> there was no good ways out of that one, was there? There was nothing I could have done there. There's Ewan. 
Oh, we've lost a wheel in that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. There was absolutely no choice in that. If we'd stayed straight, we would have got hit. The hope was I could avoid and not roll. But that's a very forlorn hope at that point. Whatever whatever I did there was going to hurt. Um, that was unlucky. <laughs> that was very unlucky indeed. Oh, now we're on three wheels. Small man's on three wheels. Ewan is still going around. Oh, Danger Man has been absolutely destroyed. Is still in live. Is still in one piece over the ramp. We might move up to second. Ninetales is still going with a full accompaniment of wheels. Ninetales might cheese this one right at the death. Um, I mean, look, there's always a chance because there's been so many wrecks here. We're definitely not going to be giving up. Uh, Ewan is looking for a way. Oh, God, we got lag pinged with you and I have no steering to get onto the ramp. <laughs> we got we got the uh, the desync where it couldn't decide who was what side of each other and Ewan's had a massive accident. Ewan's out. Ewan's dumped. It looks like Danger Man is just going to hold on uh, in that. Uh, Danger Man's going to hold on to take victory. Ninetales gets second but got very close. Danger Man was on a very poorly, poor, poor amount of health. We are going to trundle our way around onto the podium. Uh, and that will... I mean, the fact that we finish... Oh, no, wait. Liam is catching really quickly uh, at the moment. But we will we will do it. We trundle around. We make it onto the podium. Just. <laughs> oh, G7 remain in this. Shadow is a broken, poorly machine. Small Man is also broken. Um on three wheels. Shadow is on three wheels. Aaron is on three wheels. So... <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean... Seven? Who was the first one who guessed seven? Let's have a scroll back. Uh, Small Man? Guessed seven. Thinker? Uh, guessed seven. Uh, Swaying Grass? Guessed seven. Uh, Gordon Fan? Ethanol? All guessed seven. Uh, well done. Well done to you uh, <laughs> that uh, that guessed it. Um, uh, I mean, we, we, we came home on three wheels to get on the podium. I will take it. I will I will take it. Uh, we can definitely do death loop with these. <laughs> Screw it. I'm having fun with the my times, actually. Um, so, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll get some buses out in a minute. But, uh, oh, hello, Eve. You look very sleepy down there. Either that or you're giving me evils. The dog's not even annoying here. The dog's gone the other side of the room. He's got his yak milk chew thing that he's enjoying. You've got some peace and quiet, Eve, to enjoy the bed for once. Um... Right, we will have a go with we'll have a go with motorhomes. I don't think we've done motorhomes here for a while. Don't worry, the buses will be coming out uh, in a bit. All right, uh, <laughs> we've got to we've got to get the buses. You know, having some having some chaos at some point. But uh, yeah, the motorhomes. So I don't quite know how it'll work with motorhomes, but I'll, I'll say the same thing that I do with with the buses. Um, they can make the loop. All right, these will be a bit faster than the buses as well. However, if, for example, you get nudged on the approach to the loop, I would recommend avoiding it. I think you'll have to be going quite close to flat out from the hairpin to make it around the loop. Now, we will continue with the um, rule that we always have around here in that you must take the loop. Uh, unless you are physically incapable of, uh, of taking the loop, i.e. you get pushed out of the way, you're slow heading towards it and you won't make it, or the loop is physically blocked, it is possible. Motorhomes could do it. We haven't seen motorhomes do it. I don't think we've seen buses do it, but it is possible that the, that the loop could get completely blocked. Um, oh, Apollo has grabbed his chew and decided to sit on the bed with Eve. Now, now you would have a reason to be slightly more giving evils. Although the dog's happy. The dog's not bothering you, Eve. You should be enjoying the... <laughs> uh, he's, he's getting there. He's getting there, the lunatic. Um, he can just have his have his chew. And... Uh, that's, that's fine. Animals are well behaved. But yeah, basically, you, if you are not flat out, 
all the way from the hairpin to the loop, I would recommend not taking it. If you get bumped, if you have a really bad run through the hairpin, get pushed sideways, just, yeah, I wouldn't bother. I, w I would go for um, avoiding avoiding the loop. Um, so, yeah, oh yeah, well, we'll go for who... Bet the wonderful folks of chat have a bet on how many you think will survive the loop. Oh, hello, Eve. Have you decided that you've had enough of the dog? I'm going to come sit on my lap instead. Um, I reckon we'll get more. I reckon I'm going to go for 10 at the death loop. Uh, I reckon we'll get more people... Like, the buses tend to die on the loop. I think we'll get more people making the loop with the motorhomes. I could be wrong. You know, that is the joy. Um, but, yeah, my guess is going to be 10. Zav, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, saying thank you for death loops. There's, yep, there is a loop. There will be death. Oh, in case you're reckoning six and a half, I'd like to... Well, to be fair, quite a few of us finished with half a camper van last time around. So... <laughs> So there we go. Oh, we have a nice spot on the grid. I like this. I like this. Um, I will take a second row start. We will get assisted a little bit through turn one, but that's fine. Bumpy leads the way. Liam gave us a bit of help through all of that. I think the gears are better. It's like a little bit longer is good for some of these longer straights, um, but it's slightly more usable now. So into the hairpin we head. Focus on getting a good exit, which we do. Here we go. Right, on to the loop we head with the motorhomes for the first time. Change down to second mid-loop. All is good. We make it. We're fine. We are through. Looks like everyone's made it on the first lap. Uh, small man's to the inside. I got it a little bit wider than I wanted to through there. And you know what? It's been a surprisingly tame first lap. Uh... <laughs> Right, it probably won't stay like this, because at some point someone's going to get tagged on the loop and is going to fall off it and cause all manner of chaos. We've got a great run through that first corner. We are going to go to the outside of Bumpy, who's almost fallen over through there. That was not quite what they were going for, but we have all made it as we head to the loop once again. All right, we are side by side with a Bumpy. Down to a second gear. Oh... Small man. Oh, it's gone wrong on the loop. There we go. There's the mess. <laughs> it was going to happen at some point. And it has happened on the second lap. So vehicles that had fallen a little bit further back. Uh, oh, steep. I tell you what, Ninetales was so lucky there. How on earth Ninetales got away through the midst of that. Uh, there's a vehicle in front and a vehicle behind Ninetales. Um, that was incredible. How blocked is the loop is the question. It doesn't look like it's too blocked, at least. We should still be able to make it. Ninetales going for a dive. We're going for the focus on a good run on the exit, which we get. Uh, it's mostly bodywork on the loop. It's not actual wrecks of vehicles. So we are still able to make the loop. And we will lead the way for the moment. We're running quite high up on this corner, which is not really what I was going for, but it will work. We will get off this section. Uh, the crossover point. Oh, Ninetales has lost out to Danger Man. We will continue to battle away with Bumpy. Bumpy, yeah, <laughs> if there's a help into turn one. We survive it, though. All is fine. All is fine. There are some stricken, poorly motorhomes in front of us. Uh... That might not actually be the line I want through there, because it's quite... I'm going for more get the speed on the exit. Uh, I have missed a shift as well. I could be in trouble going up the loop here. No, we've still got enough speed. All is fine for us. Oh, crap! Oh, thankfully, the pink vehicle had a lift through there. That would have been really bad, but we got away with it. Uh, we should be clear as well here. Yeah, no one is going to collect us. Oh, they have collected Bumpy, though. Bumpy gets a big crunch in the side. And that gives us a five-second lead. Ninetales is still in third. No, no, Ninetales has fallen to fourth. So my goal now is survive on the most parts. Uh, we're having, having got away at the front. I mean, there's still going to be that as a potential issue. <laughs> that crossover can still claim some lives. Oh, go for a second. Now, my I have a strategy on the loop. I don't know if it, if it was perfect. I do tend to stick to one side. My goal being that uh, vehicles further back tend to approach it. You, most people tend to hit the loop in the middle. So if I go to the side, if a vehicle's coming up, 
I will tend to avoid it. Um, but yeah, that's that's my go-to strategy. Uh, so to speak, we're on to the final lap of the race. Five second lead over Nine Tails. We have found Aaron in front with a uh, lap down damaged vehicle. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> we had momentum. I was wanting that spot. Uh, oh, I am not going to be able to take the loop. I got a bail on it. I can't. I ha having to have that break and dive out of the way. I cannot say it. It's actually slower as well, taking this uh, avoiding line. As you can see there, the pink vehicle has cleared us. Uh, so like on this one, it's quite a good uh, quite a good balance. Uh, I would have taken it if it wasn't for the fact that a car was heading towards us and I was having to dodge it. And we will head towards the finish line and after a string of absolutely awful luck, everything that could go right for us did at the death loop. Motorhome was barely damaged of mine. Ninetales is going to cross the line in third, I think it was, missing most of theirs. Danger Man and Liam uh, crossed the finish line close before. Uh, Ewan lost 72 health in one hit. Knight Riders exploded into debris on the run towards the loop. Aaron is still in trouble, and Aaron's almost fallen over the AI and he pushed Aaron over. Oh, Gliska. That's not even a motorhome. Gliska's made a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? How has that happened? How has that happened? How has that even worked? <laughs> what crash has made a motorhome into a triangle? Um, that's actually one of the most impressive wrecks I've seen in this game. <laughs> Oh, 11 vehicles would take the finish line in that one. Um, who is going to be the first to have guessed that many? I think, I, did I say 10? Um, uh, no, uh, Nor Noratan, um, I believe it was, uh, is the only one who guessed 11. Uh, Ronald guessed 12, which was, uh, which was, which was close. Yeah, and I, I believe I guessed 10, uh, which was not too shabby. Um... Oh dear, yeah, Gliska's driving us, drive, driving the brie. Ah, oh, I do fancy some brie. Can't go wrong with a good, with with with, with a good brie. Um, <laughs> oh. there we go, there we go. We can go Regnado. Uh, let's go and load up. You know, what? we're gonna go. We're gonna take a little break from silly vehicles. We'll get some buses in a little bit. Um, we'll go Recnado in some B-class cars. We'll go back to cars for a little bit. Um, yeah, Bump Bumpy's death was spectacular. It's a shame we were having a really good race with Bumpy. Uh, to be fair, oh, apparently Bumpy was killed by Gliska. I wonder if that is where um, uh, the triangle occurred on Gliska's. We did have someone guess. Uh, six and a half. So I guess Gliska's motorhome was a half, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's yeah. That's how it goes. Actually, we'll put ten laps. It's quite a quick laps around here. What the hell am I going to drive here? I'm not going. I'm, I've given up going for the heavyweight vehicles. Um, yeah, it was it was ten and a half. Um, because Gliska's was only <laughs> only half. It was only half a camper by the end of that. Um. So, there we go. Uh, I did get a toilet penalty. I guess we could drive a toilet, sure. <laughs> we are going to be a spectator for most of this. <laughs> sure, let's drive the honey pots. Where's the gin? I have some gin lying around. We are going to get some gin, because I think we're going to need it for this one. Uh... <laughs> oh. Right. That's probably too much. Uh, but yeah, we are, we, if we survive more than a couple of laps, I'll be impressed. I think that's that's kind of the goal on this one. Um, we will see. Uh, Krusty, for, for, for joining this, it is uh, kind of a wait until there is some space. Um, it's an open session, so if somebody drops out, refresh the lobby page and hopefully you will be able to to get in it's just the easiest way of of doing this um oh we've got some other toilets okay we've got we've got we've got team honeypot going on <laughs> that's a strange team that's a very strange team but we'll go for it okay that was a lot more gin than lemonade that time around but that's okay 
Ah, what have I got? I've got fancy. I've got fancy gin. I have got uh, passion fruit and orange gin. Uh, it's very nice. Very nice stuff. Indeed. So, yeah, we've got me, uh, Kezia Gliska, Lombo, Bumpy, Stevie, and Ewan, Aaron, Smallman, and Liam representing the uh, representing the honeypot in this one. Um, Apollo, buddy, did you really need to fart? It's such a bad fart, you won't even look at me. You stinky dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, 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 we, we've got a multi-class race going on. Um, we, <laughs> we, have, we have honeypot class, and we have sensible car class. I mean, danger. Uh, the, the Eagle R is very good. That might be one to beat. Gliska's got the Panther. Oh dear, that was very near an explosion of honey pots at the start. Um, right, we are going to get out of the way of the cars. We are going to let. Oh, there's a gear in there. Oh, Nine Tails has almost lost all of their life immediately uh, with the go kart. Uh oh, there is no. Oh, there we nearly had an. A honeypot class really needs to not crash into each other would be helpful, I think. Uh, oh, dear God. I just see an explosion of tumbly-rolly cars. Uh, <laughs> going for an overtake on Longbow. We have made a pass on Longbow. I feel like the honeypot might have a tendency to topple over if we go too far on the banking. The honeypot is actually legit quite fast in this game. Oh, there has been an accident for a pink one. That was a bumpy. There's been an accident for a Stevie as well. Uh, so we have made up. Oh, don't go up there. I can't see. Can't see. Don't know where my toilet is anymore. Uh, uh oh. Oh, there's so much speed. Aaron's had a wobble. We did a wheelie. We're up to seventh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. The, the banking is fast, but the banking has problems. Mostly for the camera. Oh, no. That was close. <laughs> Oh, I mean, if there is a vehicle where you want to have a brown trouser moment, the honeypot is the one where you are safest. Gliska's had an accident. We are about to be involved in one, I think. Nope, not quite. I think Ewan is leading the toilet. No, it can't be. No, Ewan's only two seconds ahead of me. Never mind, that's not you. Well, that's Ewan down there over on the left-hand side. So Ewan is the leader of honeypot class. Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind a brown trouser moment. That was just a decapitation. <laughs> just, well, we're we're out. <laughs> that was a hell of a death right there. <laughs> that was just yep. <laughs> the panther made sure. The panther made sure we were not going to survive that one. Jeez. Uh, right, we wanted the UI. There we go. So. Ewan is up to third with a toilet. Ewan is doing good. Ewan is doing good with the bog. Stevie, we saw Stevie had an accident early on. Bumpy's still alive. Aaron's missing most of the toilet, but is still going. Finland Bull's lost a wheel and is out of it. Uh, Casey is very nearly dead. Um, <laughs> Gliska is currently leading the way in this. Don't you get Kill. Oh yeah, Danger Man had the eagle. Danger Man has been involved in one of the uh, big shunts uh, around the place. So yeah, I mean there, there are there can be some big crashes uh, going on in all of this. Uh, oh, Bumpy is just. I think Bumpy's out. Yeah, Bumpy's gone. Gliska with another fatality on a toilet. Uh, that's. I mean that's two that we've seen. I don't know how many have been killed by the Gliska's panther at this point. Stevie is still going. So Ewan has, has slipped a fourth. But I mean, will we have a will we have any honey pots still running by the end? We are getting close to the end of the race, you know. Ewan's got a lot of health, but I was on a hundred percent health, I think, when we got squished. So it doesn't mean much. All it takes is a hit by a car, and that would be the end of that. Ah, oh, Danger Man didn't crash. They lost. Oh, they lost wheels on the banking. Ah, yeah, that would do it. That would uh, that would do it. That's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Aaron is. A hell of a stunt. Nicely landed, Aaron. Well done. 10 out of 10 for the landing. <laughs> Just flicking through the cameras in time to watch Aaron with barely a toilet left do a wonderful flip. Uh, Gliska is on to the final lap of the race at this stage. And, I mean, is looking like it's going to claim victory here. 
Uh, there's a broken car. Oh, I think there's that Finland ball still spinning around in the middle. It does look like it. Uh, Gliska will round the final corner, and it is going to be victory for Gliska here. Where is Ewan? That is the question for victory in honeypot class. Uh, there is... Okay, Knight Rider, I get a guess, is a lap ahead. Yeah, so Ewan's not likely to get a podium at this point unless there is a DNF from anybody. It would be Shadow that would have to, but they've got a lot of health, so I think it's unlikely uh, for that. Knight Rider will cross the line and take second as Ewan heads on to the final lap. Only six vehicles remain. Liam is gone in this one. It is Aaron... Stevie and Ewan representing Honeypot class. Shadow is going to cross the line, take a podium. Um, only three cars survived. I know there wasn't too many cars, but only three cars did survive, which is uh, quite surprising. Ewan crosses that line, gets fourth, and victory for the toilet class. It looks like Stevie is going to beat what's left of Aaron's car. Uh, will Stevie get to the finish line? No, not quite. Ah, uh, six finished. We had more luck with motorhomes at previous races. <laughs> the Hellride and Deathloop than we did in the split uh, split race. I'm going to guess some of the cars lost wheels on the loops. That might be might be what, uh, what did it for some of them. But there we go. <laughs> oh... The wonderful, the wonderful honeypot racing has occurred. Uh, right, shall we? What is the time? Uh, we got, you know what? Let's go for. I haven't gone here yet. So, no longer honeypot class. I mean, I guess there can be a honeypot class if people want to run it. I am not going to be running it myself. Uh, we have done our toilet penalty. Um, we will head for a car race at a figure of eight circuit. Uh, this one's always chaos. A good kind of chaos, but it is always chaos. Uh, I'm going to want a lot of grip. What gives... I mean, the Hammerhead RS is always good. I've never really run my Nexus very much. That's probably not a good idea to start. <laughs> In a stream of no luck. Maybe we don't go for that. I might just run the Stellar, to be honest. It's always, always a good shout when it comes to these. Now, there... If you go for a high grip, very fast car, which is the idea of the Hunter Stellar, basically, this is going to be a fast race car, all right? It's going to be weak. Now, it might be very quick over the course of a lap, but if we get hit at the crossover, it's going to be bad. Not as bad as the honeypot getting squished, but it's not going to be great. So, it's the gamble. I mean, it's the gamble I tend to take, mostly because there will be someone... Um, there will be someone who will survive in a fast car, and they, that will normally be the one that wins if it's a complete chaos round. Somebody will survive in a fast car, um, so I'm just hoping that that one there will be me. Um, yeah, there are definitely some strong vehicles in here. There's a hearse. Uh, there, most I think most people have just gone for the for the cars. Um, I mean, we can do a survival bet on this one, but honestly, this being a more sensible race, I would expect. 12, 13 cars to survive. I wouldn't expect to see too many deaths. There'll be a couple, but we do tend to have majority uh, survive on this one. Uh, Zav, thank you very much for the donation. Um, saying, can this be a video slash challenge, please? Oh, what, the, the, the multi-class honeypot racing. <laughs> also, credit to uh, Arod48, uh, survive the honeypot. Possibly, yeah. We could do like a you could do like a multi-class race. Could work. It could work um, with a, a multi-class race of honeypots, and yeah, I mean, it was, it was quite, it was entertaining. It was entertaining, and it was absolutely brutal uh, on the poor toilets. So yeah, could maybe work. Uh, small man, small man's the odd one out so far. It's gone for seven uh, survivors. I mean, it's possible. Uh, it's possible that we have a low lumber. You do sometimes get crazy figure of eight races. I mean, there is a toilet and there is a lawnmower I've seen in this one so far. Oh, Danger Man has got the lawnmower. Longbow hit the bump and almost flipped it. Uh, we are going to try. I mean, the lawnmower is surprisingly quick. Um, 
we're going to try and sneak to the inside of Ninetales' Mad Max car. It's all going to depend on how spread out the pack gets, right? If the pack stays close together, we tend to get a lot of survivors. If the pack spreads out early on through crashes or whatever, you tend to uh, get a lot of deaths. Because once some start dying, more will continue to die and it just snowballs. Uh, our fight over second is actually letting Ewan get away, which is bad. Uh, we can't be doing that now. Longbow's nearly done a front flip, and I'm going to be sneaky and try and profit from that one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Longbow got bounced, nearly did a front flip. Ended up... Oh, out. Oh, God. End up out wider, though. Longbow then fires back through the next corner. Fair enough. I mean, that's about the sort of overtack I did on Longbow, so... <laughs> Hello, Finland Ball. Don't mind us. We are... Oh, Longbow's car really does not like that bump. Uh, we will get to the inside of Nine Tails. I mean, that, that Nexus has got a lot of mid-corner speed, but it really doesn't like the bump at the moment. The field is quite spread out, which is alarming. I mean, Longbow, if we can work together, I'm happy to work together to chase down Ewan, right? If your car's, oh, Ewan's had to go on the brakes, Ewan's had massive issues, take it back. <laughs> Well, I, mean, so, no, I was happy to work together to chase down Ewan. We just had already caught Ewan because Ewan got in a wreck. And uh, then we didn't need to do that anymore. Uh-oh. Uh oh, dearie me. It's got, it has gone chaos round. We're only five laps into this and it's gone chaos round. Because, uh, as, as I said, if the field gets spread out, it goes berserk. And it has got spread out a lot now because there's, there's no rhythm to it at all. Uh, we have got the lead from Ninetales. It's a five-second lead at the moment. That will not help. Don't do that. Come on now. We're better than that. Um, Stella's good. No doubt about it. Um, Longbow has been really the unlucky one in all of this. Big flip for somebody in the front of Gliska's car. I don't know who that was. Somebody had a terrible accident there. Uh, Ninetales is catching. I mean, I don't think Ninetales is going to be able to catch by enough without a big crossover related incident for me. Um, Danger Man is doing a best motorbike impression on the lawnmower. Uh, <laughs> a surprising amount of uh, a good job in spinning me. Ninetales has caught, I mean we probably lost half a second in that little contact with Danger Man because that car just tipped the other way. We're going to go behind the pink car in front of the battling group which is fine. If we can just keep in that little bit of rhythm. Oh, Ninetales has had a crash. Ninetales has fallen back. Stevie's up to second. That's good news from me. All we've got to do is... Oh, okay, Shadow actually went on the brakes. That's helpful. That's really helpful. Um, in that one, because I was about to be quite worried in how I was going to deal with that section. Uh, okay, we are behind the hearse of Bumpy. Is that Longbow? Is that what happened to Longbow's car? I think Longbow's lost a wheel. Um... Oh yeah, that's I found I found Longbow. That's that's how Longbow fell away from the lead battle. Longbow minus a wheel is not good for the Nexus. Nine Tails is back up to second. It's actually done quite a good job of catching up in all of this. Uh, we're going to go behind the hearse and try and make it around one more corner and one more crossover section. It looks like we will be clear of the pink hearse. We will! Victory number two! Oh, we will claim a second victory for the Stella. I mean, was it quite the fastest lap? Although it was definitely right up there. Me and Ninetales set near identical time. Stevie, close. Ewan gets fastest lap of the uh, of the race, though. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> that's a dead sunrise. <laughs> oh, that's gone. That's out. Bumpy with the KO. Longbow's very broken. Oh, Longbow. <laughs> oh, poor Longbow. <laughs> that is... That, yeah. I mean, Longbow might make it to the finish line at least. Don't know if they lost a place. I think they lost a... Oh, no, they're a lap down on Knight Rider anyway. Yeah, Longbow's car is absolutely destroyed. Uh, <laughs> Shadow's on fire. Um, we had a great battle. We had a great battle uh, with me, Ninetales, and Longbow, but it went wrong at the end there for poor Longbow. Uh, it was 11 cars that would survive. It, it was a more destructive run than normal. Uh, Caleb got it correct on that one. Well done. Well done. Uh, yeah, that was more destructive than a figure eights often get. Um, <laughs> Bumpy killed a toilet. <laughs> oh, good work, Bumpy. Well done. Uh, 
Oh, the Stella came good. The Stella, the Stella came good. Um, yeah, we had we had a good pace. We had a great little battle. We survived quite nicely. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we got a bit lucky. We were at the right place at the right time. We judged the gaps correctly, and yeah, there we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, right, shall we? Oh, is it this one track? No, not hell right. Uh, yeah, let's go here. This will probably be our final car race before we start going to do some wacky, silly stuff. Let's go C-Class. Let's go for five laps in some C-Class cars around the Hill Street circuit. I quite like it, but it's a fun track. It is, it is a fun track, this one. I am going to drive my Gremlin, because <laughs> I like my Gremlin. Haven't had a chance to have a go with this one yet. So let's go and grab the grab the Gremlin. Uh, Danger Man's Law Mode did not survive. It was it was an impressive motorbike impression when we saw it uh, bouncing over the curbs and and farting around. It was it was impressive. I mean, it's always good. I think those vehicles can survive, but when the figure of eight gets as crazy as that one did so early on, it's always going to be tough. Um, always, always going to be tough. We can have a survival bet on this one. Again, I would expect 13 or 14 to survive here, um, would be my guess. But Caleb's also guessed 13. Yeah, you, you know, chap, you are welcome to guess. We can see what, uh, see what happens. Um, I, I would be surprised if more, if I, if I eight finish this, I'd be really surprised at the level of destruction. There is a crossover on this, but it is only minor. Uh, some will get hit on it, no doubt. Uh, take, yeah, Danger Man reckon only 15. I, I reckon... I reckon 13. I reckon a couple are going to get unlucky at the crossover, and that will that will take some vehicles out. Now I've said this, it's going to to, to not be. <laughs> but uh, Stevie, of course, has to be ultra mature, and guess 69 are going to finish. That would be... A, I mean, that would be... A, if we could have 70 cars racing around on... How much multiplayer can get on PC? Can you get 24 on PC? I think you can, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> but imagine 70 cars on Wreckfest. I mean, not only would the game explode at the prospect of that. Um, hell, what game was I playing? I mean, Project Cars, you could whack the grid numbers up, and that was crazy. And funnily enough, I had many issues. There was something else I was playing as well. Uh I must have said an older sim racing game, but I can't remember what one it was. was it, like G it wasn't GTR 2. Was it GT Legends or something? Where you could whack up the grid numbers to silly amounts. And that was always interesting. <laughs> Very. It just ended up in a big crash. Um, oh no! Things have gone wrong! What has happened here? Um, right. Here is where this is going to get really difficult for me. Um, I've forgotten what track I'm driving immediately. Oh, this is really weird and broken. I didn't. I forgot it hadn't reloaded. Oh, we're through the floor. Where are we going? Um, right. Oh, there are cars about. So I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. I don't even remember what circuit I selected now. Oh, I do know. We're on the hill right. Okay, so we're doing the loopy roundy bit. Um, that's fine. So the... I am driving, because I'm driving this completely blind, all I'm doing here is following the cars ahead and now picturing in my head where I am on the circuit. We're about to hit the wall on the outside, yep. Uh, oh god, I can't see cars, I need cars around me, I need cars around me, because otherwise I really don't know where I'm going. There's a wall on our left somewhere, up here. Um, there's a wall on the inside, I think. And oh, there's a chicane coming up as well. Oh, I don't know where the chicane is! And I think I've put Ewan into it. Or no, it wasn't Ewan. It was it was Knight Rider. Uh, then this is yeah bad. I don't know where the first corner is anymore. Uh, <laughs> we somehow made it around turn one by sheer blind luck. Oh god, no, no, I can't. <laughs> oh, I forgot it hadn't reloaded. Uh, yeah. I now have no idea where I am in the circuit. I think I'm coming up towards... I mean, a few vehicles are out. Well, there's one out. Oh, well, I've lost a wheel. The, yeah. <laughs> Not this again. <laughs> oh, it, this is a very silly bug where... 
essentially, it didn't reload the lobby for me, so it didn't reload, it didn't load the track, so it's, it thinks I'm on the previous circuit, because you can see we've got the uh, figure of eight still spawned. Um, yeah. Funnily enough, it's not worked. <laughs> Oh, the car ahead of me is not dead. I've just realised it's not actually dumped. Hello. Let's really confuse physics, because it's not going to know what on earth to do with this crash. It's just also lost a wheel, like me. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, this We've had it happen before. I've not had it... I've had it happen, it's normally like hell ride and circuits where I can just about get away with driving blind. I've, I've survived a few laps uh, driving blind, yeah. This this is only me that's that's having this because it didn't reload the lobby for me, it reloaded for other people. Uh, so yeah, it is only me that is, is seeing the game like this. Um, so yeah, Shadow can't move. I can move, oh god. I'm going to try and not take out the leaders, actually. I'm going to try and get myself out of the way. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the race for others that I literally am completely useless in. <laughs> it's not like I can even try and, you know, make up any positions. As long as I'm just going to try, I'm going to put my car slightly further ahead of Shadow. Actually, no, because Shadow was a lap down anyway. Because they, they, were, they were wrecked on the first lap. So there we go. Oh, someone's fallen over in the distance. I don't know if that was a legit falling over. Did they bounce it off the curb at the turny roundy point? Looks like they must have done. Um, that was a funny falling over. Oh, another gremlin smacked a wall pretty hard. Apollo, you've sat on Eve. God dear, you've got to mind. You're a big dog, okay? You can share the beds. You've just got to be careful. Because you you will sit on the little cat. Um, oh, dear. Things have gone wrong for us here. Things have gone well for Ninetales, who, by the looks of it, will go and take a... Oh, I mean, we were parked here. We've been parked here for laps. Oh, Shadow's got moving. Hold on. No, this will not do. This will not do at all. Come back. Uh, wait. Uh, wait, I don't actually know because I don't know where the figure... I don't know where the crossover point is. Oh, and there's a big crash for somebody. I don't want to go and ruin other cars' races when I can't see. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Shadow has got moving. Again, I don't know if I'm where I am in relation to the circuit. Can I put myself up against a wall? Am I already up against a wall, maybe? Don't know. Can't tell. <laughs> uh. Well, Upman Shadow is actually dumped properly now. Things, we broke things again. <laughs> We did, we did break some things. Well done, Nine Tails, for another victory. Um, we have got 15 cars, actually, will finish. I will technically finish. Uh, for those that probably have never been asking about the reset, if I reset it, it doesn't fix things. <laughs> things are very broken. Things are, things are very broken. Um, and there we go. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> it's, it's so wonderful. There's never any problems with it at all, is there? Uh, I mean, I made a lap not being able to see anything. <laughs> On that circuit, the fact that I actually somehow drove a lap not being able to see anything really surprises me. However, yeah, it was inevitable that things were going to go wrong. It is uh, now time, though, for the grand finale, the main event, however you want to phrase it, the greatest form of motorsport in the world, it is time for the wonderful world of bus racing on very silly tracks. Um, we are going to start, actually I didn't mean Hellride, I meant to do Deathloop, but uh, we will start, at least it loaded, we will start at the wonderful Deathloop for some bus racing. Now, much the same as we had with the motorhomes. The buses absolutely can make it around the loop. Alright? The buses can survive the loop 
They can drive the loop, but you must pretty much be flat out from the hairpin all the way to the loop, not miss any shifts, not have to swerve out of the way of anything. Because if you do, if you if you approach the loop at anything other than flat out, you will not make it. You will fall off, you will wreck the bus and break the loop, potentially. Uh, so, yeah. The rule is you've got to take the loop if you can, but of course, if, you know, for reasons you are not at full speed heading towards the loop, you are allowed to use the escape chute. Uh, yeah, by all means, chat, have a guess at the... Um, number of survivors in this one uh dark, dark fables 4 i you know that mm, i yeah i'm expecting i i personally i would guess at six here um it's perhaps not quite as destructive as Hellride, but it's pretty bad and it does entirely depend on how chaotic the loop gets uh so we will see we will see how it goes on this one. Apollo, you cannot use the cat as a pillow. And if you do use the cat as a pillow and get kicked, you, I'm not going to feel bad for you. Your head is almost as big as the cat. You can't be doing that. There we go. That's better. <laughs> you silly dog. Um, 13 survivors in bust death loop would be impressive. Um, it would be very impressive. 6.9, of course there were going to be some people who'd guessed uh, the sin 6.9. Ugh. <laughs> uh, we are almost underway. We will be when Gliska readies up, I think. Um... It's going to be chaos. It's good. We, we've had more chaos in the normal, I say, like in the figure eight races than we have seen in the past. So I think we could have, we could have, ooh, another nice spot on the grid for Deathloop. I will take that at least. Um, but yeah, we've had quite a lot of destruction going on so far. So I'm expecting that to continue here. Uh, we will at least get out of turn one quite nicely. It is. Oh, Ewan has gone to the right hand side there. Uh, there is a little bit of bumps. Oh, you want to be careful chucking the bus in here with too much speed, though, because they can and do fall over sometimes. I am not sure if we're going to make it here, but I got no choice. The rest of the pack is going this way. I think we're going to, going to not make it. Oh, we're not making it, but we might survive the landing just. Have we lost? Oh, we've lost a wheel! No! So has Stevie. Right, so we are racing Stevie for the battle of the three-wheeled buses. So I can now no longer take the loop. Three-wheel bus will never survive the loop. Uh, we are unfortunately out of this one. Um, yeah, oh, sorry Shadow. I, I had an itchy nose and uh, ended up wandering across while I was trying to, trying to sort that out. Um, yeah, we cannot take the loop. But, well, Stevie's actually out as well. How does Stevie go? Did Stevie lose the other front wheel, I guess? Uh, we might potentially still play a part in this. No. No, we lost the other front wheel and we wrecked a Liam. <laughs> well. That race went well. Oh, Bumpy. Oh, no, Bumpy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Bumpy's gone. <laughs> Bumpy's out. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no. No more Bumpy. We're down to 11 runners already. <laughs> Oh, uh, Leo, well, Leo actually, despite the hit on us, is actually quite in one piece. Small man leads from Danger Man and Knight Rider. Finland Ball is about to go and tackle the loop from 11th. Have you got enough momentum? Here is... Oh, you'll su uh, maybe survive. It's going to be a big hit on the nose and Finland Ball's lost a wheel. Uh, <laughs> Gliska's in 9th, but has still got a functioning bus. And Longbow in 10th are still in one piece. Have all their wheels, that's the important bit. Uh, small man is going to take the lead of the race, I think, through all of this, uh, which is something at the moment. Ten buses remain in this, so we still have ten circulating as we head towards half distance. I mean, it could have been a higher rate of attrition. Gl oh, Shadow's blocked the loop. Gliska's around it neatly, at least. The green bus, that was K's year, I think, that is out. Um, so we're now down to nine buses remain. Uh, Knight Rider is battling away with Danger Man uh, over that second place. Has Danger Man lost a wheel? No, Danger Man hasn't lost a wheel, but the front end is all smashed into like a weird shape. Uh, will Small Man make the loop? 
they will. Shadow's having to take the alternate route. Danger Man has just been rolled. Knight Rider might not be going quick enough for the loop. They do make it just. Uh, uh, they are clear of the wrecks as well. That is the important bit. So, nine remain. Uh, <laughs> oh, Nine Tails might not be making that. Nine Tails is gone and Nine Tails has blocked part of the loop. Gliska has made matters worse. Ewan survived. Gliska's got wedged. We'll have to reset. We are now down to uh, eight remaining buses. That's not great. Longbow's, Longbow's made the triangle this time around. Uh, <laughs> Gliska's bus is... Uh, oh, it's because they, it's got the because they tried to make the loop and reset, and it's got stuck a little bit. Um, so Knight Rider has got to be careful. That's. Not a very big gap to go for. You might struggle. No, you've got the speed. Just. Will they get the exit? They do. Shadow was just trying to take the... Uh, did Shadow have the momentum? If I can get to the right... I can't get the camera to go to the right place. They do in all of this. Um, although, they are going slow. So I guess they got a hit on the loop. Danger Man, despite getting flipped, is still in third. And is still going relatively quickly here. We're down to eight remaining now. Uh, Nine Tails is out. Don't know who we we're down to eight before. Uh, we're on to the final lap, though. This, I mean, this is a good number still alive here. Small Man is is uh, got a whole load of health. I did just see somebody was up the loop. I don't know who it was. Uh, Ewan almost murdered a uh, Longbow through there. Small Man is around the loop. Knight Rider is gaining. Small Man found the gap on the exit. Knight Rider also found a gap. Small Man almost got clipped in the crossover point. Knight Rider is, is desperately trying to catch up. Has gained a whole heap of time here. Don't think there's anything coming from the crossover way. They will cross the line in that order. Small Man takes victory. Knight Rider is second. Uh, Gliska is battling away with Longbow uh, over this fifth place at the moment. Danger Man is going to maybe cross the line in third. Oh, Danger Man got spun around at some point. I'm not quite sure what Danger Man's up to. Are they trying to take out Liam? Uh, they're trying to wreck Liam at the moment. <laughs> uh, Danger Man's going to lose out on third, I think. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to, st to stop Liam. You're going to do enough damage to stop Liam at the moment. Oh, no. Ewan's turned up, so Danger Man's run away again. It is going to be Danger Man in third. Ewan will get fourth. Gliska crosses the line in fifth. Longbow, because Gliska take the loop. Longbow couldn't at the end of this. Longbow will cross the line in sixth and then it is shadow who has just made the loop is still running and liam are our remaining surviving buses it looks like eight are gonna make it surprise that's a surprisingly good amount from this uh who was the first one to guess eight buses it was thinker uh, no it wasn't it was drake uh, who would guess it right uh, drake got eight thinker also guessed eight uh, roberts Guest 8. Who else did? I saw a couple of others. Elusive. Uh, guest 8. And... Uh, that's... Uh, Char Sabretooth. Guest 8. Well done to all those that did. Uh, <laughs> uh, did you want to say Liam was, was a persistent irritant? Did Was it by any chance Liam that rolled you over? Um... <laughs> I'm going to hazard a guess it was Liam that flipped you over at some point during that one. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, what a race. What a race. It's time for even more chaos, though. This is probably the most challenging and punishing circuit for the buses. We are going to go for seven laps. At Hellride. If 8 finished this, I'd be astounded. My guess is going to be 4. I think Thinker has just guessed the same. I think he's got pretty good with the guesses so far today. So, so I feel like I'm in for a for a good a good one. Um, there's lots of low numbers here going on though, as is to be expected. Um, and lots of no numbers. I mean, it's, we have had seven finish in the past. It's possible. It's really going to depend on how great we, we've had like seven, eight finish. We've also had no vehicles finish we've had one or two finish as well in the past so it could go either way um for some of these 
So, the same rules apply to this circuit as we have been racing so far today. You must take the jump, if at all possible. Uh, you... You know, if you get pushed off the ramp, if you if the ramp is full of buses and you physically can't take it, then of course uh, you are able to to take alternate routes. But if you are capable of taking the ramp, are capable of taking the jump, you must take the jump. So yeah, uh, we will see how this one will pan out. Steve, you reckon I'm going to DNF first? It's possible. Actually, it's not. Well, I say it's, it's possible. It is possible, but I know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's no way I'm going. Actually, I'm going to join Nine Tails in that plan. I think it's Nine Tails. Yeah, it is. Me and you, me, you and Nine Tails have the same idea. It's just I don't want to be involved in that cluster of buses on the first lap. So someone has fallen off to the side. So we're just happy to sit back here because we know there's going to be chaos. We know there's going to be exploded, fallen over vehicles. And there's going to be opportunities for us later. Just don't get involved in it straight away. Um, just hang back from the mess. There's been a big crash off to the side. Danger Man's fallen over again. Two buses have, have tipped off to the side. Uh, oh, Ewan has decided that we are going for the big jump. I didn't really want, but... Uh, actually, no, because I think it's changed. I think the bus is now actually just about quick enough to get the, uh, the jump landing done nicely. Uh, so, yeah, I think we can be flat all the way down the, uh, the hill. Yeah, we've got to be careful while riding too much. It's quicker, but if you do it too much, you can lose a wheel. Um, yeah, it's, it's a risk. We're in quite a good condition as a bus goes for the moment, so I think we're safe to ride the wall. Oh, someone slid off to the side there. Not sure who that was. Um, might have been Finland Ball, uh, I think, that fell off to the side there. Gliska leads the way. Ninetales is already up to third. I mean... You know, me and Ninetales, considering we basically just stuck the brakes on at the start and uh, waited, and they've not done too badly, but this is now where it's starting to get dangerous for us. Oh! Yep, yep, it's starting to get dangerous. <laughs> oh, Christ! <laughs> that's, that's a brown trouser moment right there, if ever I saw one. Jeez, <laughs> so many buses were having accidents. That was just a nope. Nope, I'm running away from that. I do not want to be involved in that. Um, I think I might have actually been able, as the stream delay, so I think I might have actually got away with getting onto the ramp after that, but you just don't know. And this is the point, like, at the start, it's fine. There's a rhythm going on, and you're kind of in the rhythm. Oh, dearie me. And, well, now we spun that way. Um, yeah, you're kind of in a rhythm, but now that rhythm's all completely gone. Uh, we don't know where any of the buses are going to appear, what's going to happen. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a mess currently. Stevie leads the way. That's Stevie there in the purple bus. Uh, Aaron has got a run on the outside. Annoyingly, I can't quite get to the banking. Me and Ewan just keep crashing into each other at the moment. Uh, <laughs> this just not really worked for us. Uh, are we going to be clear over the jump? I'm a little worried, but uh, no, there's nothing coming at this moment in time. We bounce, Aaron falls over, Ewan has actually got the good landing uh, in all of this. There is Gliska. Oh, Gliska's lost a week. Gliska has got almost as bad a luck as I do, to be honest, today. Uh, my, my luck kind of happened at the start of the race. Gliska just does well and then dies. Admittedly, this is mid-race now, but yeah, <laughs> Gliska has not had much luck either in this one with these, uh, with these deaths. Is that a Danger Man slow as well? Good God, that's a Tumbling longbow! That's a DNF for a longbow right there. Um, that is longbow out. I think it was longbow anyway in the green bus. Liam has damaged, lost momentum. I don't think lost a wheel quite. So we will sneak our way past and run off the banking. Nine tails looks like they're slow up ahead. There's a purple bus that's just done a pirouette down there. I don't know who that was. We're going to jump over Nine Tails, land directly in front of Nine Tails, and kill a small man. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you were having your own accident there. There was not a huge amount I could do about it. Um, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I just went over a jump and suddenly you were there, tumbling down the road, and we kind of murdered you. Nine Tails helped. Probably Liam. I'm going to say they helped. Um, but yeah, Longbow had a hell of a death. Right, so Liam and Nine Tails are in front of us. Stevie has a pretty big lead at the moment. Uh, some 20 seconds away. There is Stevie. Um, 
I'm going to presume Casey is second, Danger Man's maybe third, and Ewan's fourth. We're battling with nine tails here over six. We're actually in. We're at 69 health. Hey. Uh, we're actually in a pretty good shape. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not ideal, but it's fine. We've actually made it onto the ramp at least. Nine tails is about to fall off the ramp. Oh, nine tails got lucky. Just survived. Um, there is the battle for the leaders. Knight Rider might be in that battle as well, actually. Um, just looking at the buses involved. Possibly. Not sure. Uh, <laughs> Right. So we're a long way back from the lead battle, but we're just hoping that the leaders have a crash somewhere. Uh, we're just hoping that some weirdness befalls them, and it is very possible. There's a surprising number of buses still circulating at the moment. It is doing surprisingly well. So there goes Stevie, there goes Danger Man, there's Kezia. Um There's a couple of buses side by side up ahead, which we are really gaining. We're gaining on Liam a little bit. I think they're in worse condition than we are. Uh, there is a bus. Ooh, that's an awkward place. There is a bus kind of blocking the ramp a little bit. It's forcing everybody to the left, which we don't want to really be on over there. Uh, oh, that's an awkward landing through there. Stevie heads on to the final lap. He's being chased by Danger Man. I think enough vehicles are out that we are managing to stay far enough apart. Now, I shouldn't jinx it. But after the mayhem early on, it has kind of calmed down a little bit. Which probably means it's all going to go wrong on the final lap, but it has kind of got a little bit calmer. Although, I think the leaders are heading towards this ramp now. Oh, there's a hit on Danger Man. There is a hit on Danger Man that may well... No, it hasn't affected them, although they tell a lot. I'm looking at the, the tumbling, tumbling gap too. Danger Man and Stevie both may have had trouble, or Stevie might be out, because we've suddenly climbed to fifth, which makes me think maybe Stevie has tumbled out of this somewhere along the line. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen a purple bus littering the track. The yellow bus we're catching is a lap down. That's not Casey. They're in the bright green one, I think. Um, yeah, that's down there. Ewan claims victory. I don't know what happened at the end. Something has happened at the end. Stevie does finish, ends up fourth. So Stevie was still running. Um, we will cross the line in a fifth position here. Ewan claims a surprise victory. Uh, I don't know where that came from. Something happened, must have happened to Danger Man at the end there. Or maybe Danger Man lost a wheel in that crash and just couldn't... Um, uh, couldn't keep going quick enough to hold you and off. Kezia ends up third. Stevie falls to fourth. I presume missing a wheel as well. Um, oh dear. Shadow. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Shadow has fallen off. The AIs have bullied them and that's going to beach itself. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> I mean, it looks like eight. It's looking like eight are going to finish as long as small man doesn't... Uh, Manage to DNF in the next three seconds. Oh. And there we go. Eight survive. Who will have got this one correct? I am just scrolling back through here. Uh, there's a few with seven. There's a few with six. There's one with ten. There's some with nine. Nobody guessed eight. As far as I can see, nobody guessed eight. There are no winners this time on guess the level of bus destruction. Um, <laughs> well, there we go. I was not expecting that. Um, there was, yeah, there was quite a few sevens and a couple of nines, but nobody guessed eight. All uh, right, let us go. We will finish off with a trip to the canyon. We are loading this time. Um, yeah, I I never expected that many to uh, to finish. To be fair, I, w I was more expecting for six to be ambitious. To be honest, uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. There we go. There we go. Uh, now, Crash Canyon is destructive. Crash Canyon is destructive, but perhaps not as destructive as we have seen in uh, 
the likes of Hellride. Uh, I don't think Sabretooth... Uh, Sabretooth guessed four, I believe, from what I saw. Um, when I was scrolling back. Uh, we have got an eight-lap race in buses around here. Um... Crash Canyon does not always get that crazy. Does not always get that crazy, but it might. And so far today, we have tended to be getting the races pretty ridiculous. Uh, so I'm going to go... <laughs> I've got a half tempted to go eight. I actually, to be fair, I do think eight is going to be the sort of number, regardless of the fact that we had eight finish last time. It's, um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with eight. But uh, more could survive. We could see... More surviving on this one. Or we could just have a very big mess. That's that's also a distinct possibility. Uh, yeah. Uh, we, shall, we shall see. We shall see. There's lots of guesses coming in. I think most numbers are covered. It's probably going to be whatever number hasn't been said yet. Um... We could have two finish. Um, we could have thirteen. To be fair, that you know that would be possible. Uh, we have had that many finish at uh, Crash Canyon before. It, it is. It is really going to depend on how absolutely ridiculous the the race starts. If we have a long, sort of clean run, which we do sometimes get at Crash Canyon, if we have a long, sensible, clean run, then we could have a lot of finish. Um, we've had some very good races around Crash Canyon, to be fair. Uh, buses do not tend to have long, clean runs. Ever. Anywhere. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, let's see what happens. We are a fair way back in the field. I don't know whether that's good or bad, to be honest. Uh, it might mean that we survive the mess. It might mean that the mess happens in directly in front of us and someone's fallen over. I think that was Liam having a bad day. Um, oh, there is some buses clip the wall. Uh, we have got a good run down here. Small man is not going to want to be on the central kind of part of the circuit. Uh, Longbow is going to have a look to the inside. There is a big crash going on up here. That, but thankfully the buses kind of just bounced off the wall and they're all fine. Uh, we will slot ourselves in here. Danger man kind of just fire to the inside and it's kind of worked. See, like this will work for the moment. It's when something bad happens and the field gets really spread out, that is when this will work less. Oh, a little bit of frame rate issues uh, for the moment. We're going to try and sneak the nose up the inside of the pink vehicle. Because, uh, yeah, like at the moment it doesn't matter that we're running in oncoming traffic because there's nothing quite fallen that far back to be running down the other lane, so to speak. Uh, Bumpy is oh, having some issues. We are going to stick this one out around the outside. I think it's going to work. It does. The Danger Man is continuing to run in the oncoming lane. In fact, no one has had big accidents. No, nothing has spread the pack out massively yet. But yet is the real optimum word here. It's eight laps, so there is still plenty of time for chaos. Uh, we will run off of the banking quite nicely. Oh, Danger Man wants to go over this side. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, we will just kind of keep plugging away. Knight Rider leads the, leads the race at the moment. We'll keep this high line. I mean, we're, we're going side by side with Danger Man. Oh, the bus has had a crash. So one bus has ended up in the wall. And what's going to happen, potentially, is if we get more, the more we get spread out, the more likely big shunts are going to happen. Oh, and as the race gets on, the less patient people are going to be in trying to make passes stick, because they've kind of got to go. Oh, and the more likely vehicles are going to get pushed either into walls or into oncoming traffic. But we have, we still haven't got the oncoming traffic happening yet. Things are going very, very tame for Crash Canyon currently. Gliska fires it to the inside. I actually had a really good run through there, but uh, Gliska was in the way. And we were just unable to make the most of it. Oh, Aaron up onto two wheels. Good save from Aaron. We are in the oncoming lane, which is not actually where I want to be particularly. I don't really like the inside line through these hairpins. Danger Man is going to help us get to the outside line. <laughs> That's fine. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a harsh, a harsh, uh, harsh race there on Aaron. 
Uh, got a little, got a little bit mugged uh, through there. It was uh, me trying to desperately get to the top. Oh, that's blocked the line I was about to go to. Knight Riders had an issue, uh, but again, like it bounced, it fell over, and then got right back onto its wheels again. <laughs> and we'll carry on. Lost a bunch of places, but not as much time as you would expect. We're locked side by side with Danger Man, as Gliska's locked side by side with Longbow, pretty much. Um, Danger Man is, uh, everyone's been very fair given, like, just that, that amount of space um, in this. Ninetales is continuing to play in oncoming traffic, which for the moment is safe. Uh, we are getting that long, clean run that we get sometimes at uh, Crash Canyon. I wasn't expecting it with buses, but, yeah, it is, it is happening at the moment. Uh, Longbow is, I mean, we just can't sort these fights out. And even if we did, Danger Man would always send it to the inside, and I'm always happy to run the higher line at these corners. So we are just locked in this almost permanent battle, big two-wheel moment. Not actually sure who is in second at the moment, uh, but whoever it is very nearly fell over. Now we are starting to see a bit of oncoming traffic, although it's not really... It's only on the very exit of the corner. It's not really happening all the way down here. As uh, me and Danger Man go for about lap three side by side as Longbow and Gliska are continuing to do exactly the same directly in front of us. Um, oh, Gliska almost got in trouble there. Not quite, but almost. We're heading on to the final lap of the race here. We have got one more lap to go. Gliska is potentially going to try and send it at Longbow at some point uh, around here, but... Uh, not quite close enough. Lombo has finally got the overlap, has got clear. Ninetales continues to lead the way here. Um, although it is close up at the front as well. We will send it into the final corner. Danger Man has lent. Danger Man might have got this pass completed. Uh, no, we've got that... Still got that really good exit. It is going to be absolutely side by side. Danger Man got a good run through there. And I think Danger Man has got us on the final... Final run to the line just about ah oh, gutted <laughs> i'm disappointed it was a great race yeah danger man got that good run it is all 16 16 buses started and 16 buses finished i mean knight rider did guess correct at 16 did anyone guess 16 before then uh i tom smith did and that is it, I think. Yeah, <laughs> no one would guess 16 normally. <laughs> yeah, no, Tom Smith and Knight Rider guessed 16. Well done. Well done. That was a hell of a race. I mean, me and Danger Man spent pretty much half of it side by side. And Longbow and Gliska spent half of it side by side. <laughs> hell, it was really good racing. It's really good racing. You are right, though. We can't finish on that. Christ. That was not at all what we expected. Um, I don't know if we've ever raced buses around Recknado, but let's give it a try. Um, no, Tom said... I, I said 16, but I thought there was 20 runs. Well, I mean, <laughs> you got it right at the end of the day. <laughs> uh, yeah, who would, have, who would have thought Crash Canyon would be one of the cleanest races we've had for a long time, with buses no less? It was really good. It was really good. We had some really, really good racing around there. Also, I've got to show you this. I'm hoping they're going to stay here and not move while I do this. It's almost happened, folks. Look at them. They're sharing. They're being kind. I mean, they're not quite curled up together, but... It's the closest they've got. Apollo's not... Um, Tossing and turning too much, so Eve is happy. So there we go. We thought we'd have one final uh, pet cam before the end of the before the end of the stream, and that is the closest and calmest they've been like like that. So, yay! Good progress has been has been made on on that front. Um, so there we go. There we go. It probably will never happen again. No, but <laughs> you never know. Ah, uh, yes, we'll go for the place. Place your bets on um, how many are going to finish on this one. It's um, 
probably not going to be 16. I think quite a few are going to end up losing their wheels on the banked corners because you'll gain speed there, but I think the banking here is harsher than we get at Hellride, so I have a feeling quite a few are going to lose wheels there. Uh, now, I don't normally go to the left, but because of the amount of vehicles vying for position, I am going to go this time, but I fear this may be a mistake. But we'll wait and see uh, what, what, what transpires, pretty much. Oh yeah, that's a lot of buses. Oh no, we have fallen over. Uh, I was trying to wait, and unfortunately we just misjudged it. Um, bugger. <laughs> a, a lot of buses have fallen over at the start of that one, but not many died. A few have lost their wheel. Aaron's is still going surprisingly well, having lost a wheel. I mean, it's unfortunately not going to last for very long, but uh, it's going to gradually slip down the order. However, that was running surprisingly quickly. And now we kind of sort ourselves out a bit. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Danger man's had him. I saw that too late. I, I saw that just too late uh, to do anything about it. And yeah, Danger man also got spun by someone else because that crash involved vehicles from other directions as well. I don't know even know where to go here to try and avoid this mess. Not there. <laughs> not there. No, 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 definitely not there. <laughs> oh. Well, we're out. We're not going to be involved in this anymore. Uh, we are the first out of this race. That was just awfully unlucky, really. There's a lot of poorly buses. Longbow is currently leading the way. Uh, where is the Longbow? There is the Longbow. So Longbow leads from Smallman, who I believe is in the red bus, directly behind. Oh! Knight Rider is still still alive. Casey and Shadow were gone. Um, and that is, yeah, Knight Rider's gone as well. To be expected. Uh, <laughs> there are some big hits. I think the thing that we get is with the, with the buses that are missing wheels, they are going to be going very slowly, so they get involved in crossover shenanigans a lot quicker. Uh, it's definitely not going to be 16. We're down to 12 already, but we are getting towards the end, so towards the end of the race. We've only got a couple of laps to go. Oh, Aaron's out. Longbow's lost the lead of the race. We're now down to 10 as Aaron and Stevie have uh, both crashed out. Galiska leads the way. I, I think the thing we get with this is you can go out quite quickly because you have the hits on the front wheels, and if you lose both the front wheels, that's game over. So... Yeah, <laughs> that's that's how it how it goes sometimes. Longbow is fallen to sixth. Danger Man's bus is somehow still circulating and has four wheels, which is astonishing, considering that has been battered every which way. Uh, it is somehow still alive in this one. Nine Tails is looking for a pass for. Uh, no, that's lapping. Nine Tails up to second actually. No, it's just lapping a Danger Man. Danger Man's nicked my bonnet, I think. Going around there. Danger Man trying to ride the uh, ride the wall. I mean, it might work. Might get hit at the crossover point if there's anybody there. No, well judged from everybody. Nine Tails did a good job, getting on the brakes and avoiding that one. Gliska is on to the final lap of the race at the moment, and barring anything crazy, is looking. Oh, Danger Man has had a big hit somewhere in there. It looks like Gliska's going to be clear across the middle section. It's looking like it might be nine that make it. Aaron has died. Someone has slid off the side there. I don't know what's going on back there. Oh, a big explosion of buses. Uh, let's put Danger Man out. Nine tails. Oh, no, not Danger Man. Danger Man's still circling. Put Liam out of the race, I think. It looks like Gliska has claimed a victory. Danger Man's gone. <laughs> Danger Man just got a little tag against the wall, and that was it. It fell to seven. Uh, <laughs> seven buses will finish, as long as Ewan doesn't wreck it across this jump. It tipped. It turned. It's... Uh, I mean, Ewan's feet are through the firewall at that point. Not so good. Lombo got up to fifth uh, from that one, and there we go. It will be seven buses that make it to the finish line. Who guessed seven? Uh, L. L. Blum? I'm 
probably not pronounced that correctly. They guessed seven. Tony Minton guessed seven. Uh, who else? Did anyone else guess seven on that one? Thinker again. Thinker, you got like three or four of these right. Uh, Simon also guessed seven. KC guessed seven. Ah, oh, that was more like it. Well done, folks. Um, oh, well done indeed. <laughs> and that was... Those guesses were correct because Ninetales killed Danger Man with the lightest of brushes against the wall. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Well, there we go. That was some some wreckfest right there. It started off terribly for me. It did get considerably better as the stream went on. We got a couple of victories in some in some of the silly races. We had a couple of competitive runs as well. We had some good races. Some really good races in the buses. Um, yeah. Wreckfest is always highly entertaining. Um, <laughs> can, can at times be frustrating, but um, yeah, we had, we had some really good races in that one um, a little bit a little bit later on. I hope you have all enjoyed this stream. wasn't quite what the plan was for today, but uh, it was uh, it was it was it, breakfast is always a good last minute sort of substitute um, for when other plans don't quite uh, don't quite work out. Um, so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed. The, the guessing game is always funny. We had a lot more survival. We had some really wacky crazy races and then we had a lot more survival at the end than we ever expected which is always odd um of course a very big thank you to everybody who donated uh, i believe i read all of them out especially crusty thank you very much for your incredibly incredibly generous donation um i shall be back streaming on sunday i will be back with some gta shenanigans for you on sunday evenings i hope to see plenty of uh, plenty of you there of course thank you all very much for uh, for watching for spending your friday evening watching us mess around and crash some vehicles uh, along along the way um but uh, yeah that is indeed going to be it from me and from the pets that have been very well behaved tonight which is wonderful um yeah thank you thank you all very much for uh, for sticking around until next time though uh, yeah, goodbye <laughs>